No, nothing. What is <laughs> up, Friday Nighters? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Just Another Friday Night. I am one of your two hosts, the love doctor, CM Chuck, <laughs> and alongside me, my compatriot and fellow love doctor, Double A, Adam and TM Adam. Good evening on this cold, cold day. Guys, if you are here in San Antonio, Texas, where we are, this is the dead of winter for us. <laughs> it's been about, what, 30? 30, yeah, 30, yeah, 30, it's been pretty 30, chilly. Yeah, 30, yeah 30, it was yeah. cold in the morning. If you guys live here in South Texas like us, especially in San Antonio, it's like the weather can be from one day to the next. People joke yeah. about it all the time. It can be winter, fall, yeah. summer, all in one day, but not today. Today was a real wintry cold, day for us. gray. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got a, a a Valentine's Day weekend apparently full with cold, gray, drab <laughs> weather. <laughs> so for those of you that maybe are not fans of Valentine's Day, you may uh Try say, up your alley. Hey, there you go, right? I mean, yeah. uh, I'm not gonna enjoy it, and that's mm -hmm. that. And you're not gonna enjoy it either. Double A <laughs> adrenalize me, man. What's happening in the world of news and pop culture today? Uh, today, uh or this we week. I feel like it's been a whirlwind kind of week. Okay, well, first off, Sunday was Super Bowl. Uh, Tampa Bay just smacked the crap out of Kansas City. Did you see that coming? Bad. No. I did not no. see that coming. So, honestly, people kept asking me who I was going for. Mm -hmm. I said I really couldn't care less. If, you know, Either way, we're going to see either Mahomes going back-to-back -back, or we're going to see Brady win his seventh ring, take a team that he just joined on his first year to the Super Bowl after – Last year, mediocrity. I mean, you know, and uh, man, Tampa Bay, that defense, I don't know where that defense came from. Yeah. Uh, man, they stopped Mahomes bad. Kelsey, everyone, they just, yeah. everyone just, man, it was just an ass whipping. I didn't think I'd see that either. A high powered uh, offense like the Chiefs just kind of get thoroughly but it's always uh, dominated. A good defense, which, which I didn't know Tampa Bay had. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was reminiscent of Super Bowl 50, right? We have Super Bowl 55 this year, but 50 when it was, uh, you know, the Broncos yeah, and the Panthers. And, the and Panthers. we thought Cam was yeah. rolling, and that Broncos D just uh, tore him up. Yeah, um, yeah. Guys, as you know, we like to start out the show, allow you guys to join in, join the Facebook Live so we can read your comments, talk to you. You can join the conversation. Uh, tell us what you want to talk about in the world of pop culture. So let's say some hellos. Uh, hello, Maria. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, what up, Nene? It's freaking Nene! I uh, would like to know if he can slap y'all's ass. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, or how do you plan to work that all out? I was like, all four? It's like, there's two of us. That's a lot. But uh, uh, Richard's in the house. He says, what up, hey, guys? What's up, Richard? What up, Richard? Welcome back, man. Welcome Glad back. to have you. Uh, and Maria says, I can't hear y'all. How uh -huh. about now? Maria, can you hear us? Can you guys hear us? Somebody comment, let us know if you can hear us. We are... Our mic is on and hot. We can hear ourselves in the headphones. Anybody. Uh, that typically lets us know that we're we're rolling uh, as usual. But I will check the microphone settings just to be sure because we don't want to have uh, anything. Nope. says it's good and it's picking us up. So I don't know. We're still using this new uh, software called StreamYard. Ah, Richard uh, said he can hear us. So uh, good. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Richard. Know. Uh, we're using this new software called StreamYard. You see it up in the corner above my head. Um it's neat because it helps us with guests and we can type stuff at the bottom. Uh, you know, like down here we have our names. We couldn't do that stuff before when we we're just streaming directly through Facebook. Uh, or if we could, I didn't know how to figure it out. So I'm trying to figure it out now <laughs> uh, with this app, which I think is nice and friendly, uh, user friendly. But um, okay. I hope that it doesn't. Uh, she said we can. She can us, okay, man. great. Uh, what up, Holty Bear? Holty What's up, Bear guys? in the house. We appreciate you being here, man. So, yeah, guys, we're just catching up a little bit. Uh, feel free to comment in during the conversation. Um, we're just talking a little bit about what happened in the world this week. And like uh, Double A was saying, we started uh, Sunday with the Super Bowl or ended it with the Super Bowl, I guess, late 5.30. And, uh, uh, it's about the normal time. Yeah, and yeah. we we did see history made. We were going to see it one way or the other with a young quarterback from Texas getting going back to back. Who I, by the way, you know, I like and admire the Chiefs and Patrick Holmes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a really great friend that I went to high school with that actually works for that organization, which is really cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. posted some really rad pictures. Um, uh, last season when they uh, won, and I thought that was really great for him. He was actually, when I used to edit my high school newspaper, he was my sports editor, and he was ah, fantastic. So yeah, it was uh, only yeah. natural that he was going to go into into that. So, uh, nice. you know, tough loss, Ryan, but I know you guys will be back, man, and, and great job getting there to the big dance, dude. That's really cool. Um, 
my pop is here. He says, I can hear you. So shut up. That would kind oh, of defeat okay. the purpose of the show. Yeah, Dad. It's a talking <laughs> show. So, you know, that's not, not would be good if I, if we shut up. Kara's in the house. What up, Kara? She says, ready for a snowy Valentine's Day. Snow. I know the, the uh, snow more elusive than love in the city of San Antonio. We may see some Monday. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. Monday. we do have a sick love affair with snow though, right? It's like we're yeah. obsessed with getting snow that we don't yeah. get. Uh, Rich says Super Bowl was pretty good. Uh, glad the Bucks won. Yeah, right on. I, I was rooting for Tom Brady uh, big time. Uh, I'm a big Patriots fan. And so, although I was crushed when he left, uh, you know, still admire the guy and respect him and, and was glad to see him win another seventh and become a, a if it wasn't already a sports legend, I mean, I mean, oh, it doesn't get much more solidified than it, that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Foxy Rocks in the house says, hey, Roxanne. "Hi guys, uh, Rich. I'm going to get to the topic in just a second here." Uh, Steve in the house. Steve says, "Cheers, Steve. We always Cheers, Steve. enjoy it when you join us, everyone. I hope you guys are staying warm. If you can stay off the roads, stay off the roads. Yeah, um, big time. You know, be safe uh, as always, and and not only you know because of COVID, but because of the weather. Obviously, not right now. If you're yeah. in San Antonio, if, if you guys have seen the the traffic buildup." Uh, Traffic um, crashes. Yeah, I should say. Yeah, the 100 uh, crash pile up on Dallas. Man, oh man, crazy. That was crazy. Ugly. Yeah, ugly super stuff. I heard it was black ice and all that stuff. Yeah. We have a we have some international listeners that are probably like, "What the hell? It's not even cold." You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. so, guys, for us, really super dead of winter here. Believe me, but come and join us for our summers when it's like 103, and we're like, "Man, eh, it feels fine." <laughs> yeah, for real. So yeah. Uh, I mean, it's hot, but we can tolerate it. So. Yeah, big time. Uh, Dad says, "No, there will be no snow." Um, Rich says, "Did we leave about JJ Watt leaving yes. Houston? Yeah, that's pretty wild. One. Yeah, pretty that's wild. crazy. Where do yeah. where do you, the Friday Night Faithful, see JJ Watt landing? I'll take him in New England. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I think he should just retire. You think uh, that's it? Yeah, he, he's just too injury prone now. You're a Cowboys fan, Double A. You want yeah. him in Dallas? Yeah, I would take, him, take but him. It's just how many games can he play? Right. He's right. always can he hurt somewhere yeah. along the way? You yeah. Know? It sucks because it feels like he's falling into that. You know, yeah. I, I hate when a guy it, unfortunately gets more. He is a game changer. Yeah, when he's in there, he is yeah. a game changer. That's right. like we always talk about Derrick Rose, right? How great could he have been if just he yeah. could have just he was MVP. injuries, man. Yeah, yeah. when he was yeah, great. I would have been happy to have him on the Spurs. So, uh, Steve says I was going for the Texas boy in the Super Bowl, guys. Hey, Steve, no problem with that. Like I said, definitely have a lot of respect for Patrick Mahomes. Definitely won't be the last time he gets there, and definitely see the guy winning more. So, yeah. not a problem. I mean, Mahomes said this was the biggest ass whooping he's ever took. Yeah, ever. So that you know, you that's how I think a champion is built. You gotta yeah. you gotta recover from your yeah. losses. So we'll yeah. see how he does. Um uh Steve says he thinks JJ Watt should retire. Yeah, maybe so. I mean, maybe so. I, I think he's a good guy. You know <laughs> Richard mean? says uh, he Colts wants him he's the, the, the Colts. Hey, right on, man. Right on. You guys got one of our uh, our backups from the Patriots over there for a little bit. Um I don't know if he's still he's not the QB no more. Who are you guys gonna get next, Rich? Because y'all had Rivers, but Rivers is out now, so um, and Holtie Bear says it was 120 car pilot. Jeez Shit. Louise. I hope everybody was okay. I don't know if there was any fatalities. Uh, yes, there, or was six, there was oh my six gosh, of awful, yeah. awful. So yeah. our hearts and uh prayers go out to those families for sure. Big time. But also, guys, the world of news just kind of kept piling up. So, of course, you know, uh, after you have Tom Brady winning, you'll have Tom Brady detractors. Of course. So there was that. And then what what came out next? Uh, what double A would say was like kind of the next big news, it seemed like. That was on every, if you're a fan of our show, if you're a Friday nighter and you're one of the Friday night faithful, it was in our group and it was on every other group that I followed that covers pop culture, comic books, uh, TV shows, any, and if it was about Star Wars, for sure. Ah, okay. And that would be Gina. the firing of Gina Carano from yeah. The Mandalorian and being let go by her agency um, because of comments and things like that said on Twitter. Now, um, I don't know, Double A, where do you kind of stand on it? I don't like it. I don't like what she said, but I don't like that they fired her. That's I, just me. I agree. I like the character. I, I just want to see her. I really don't care about anyone's personal life, personal views. I really don't care. Um, as long as they're not murdering people, they're not raping sure. people. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Or a hundred percent. You know, as 100%. long as they're just not dangerous people. Yeah. You know, if they're just celebrities yeah opening their stupid mouths. I mean, that's all they do. I mean, My dad says opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, yeah. right? So, and, and Twitter, unfortunately, gives people a lot of yeah, platforms. Sure, sure. To talk about. You know what I mean? I, mean, I know I was saying in our group, in the Friday Night Faithful, if you're not a member, please uh, sign up and join. Also, guys, please follow our YouTube channel. We're trying to get up to 100 followers on our YouTube channel. 
Uh, I'll post a link later on in the group and on our page because we're at like 31 right now and we want to get it where it can be youtube.com slash just another Friday night or slash JAFN podcast, but we, it won't allow us to do that. YouTube doesn't let us do it unless we get to a hundred followers. So if you could please subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, man, that would mean a whole bunch to us so that we could get that. Then I'll start putting that up here and it'll say, um, you know, that that's what, uh, where we're at on YouTube, I can throw it up on the bottom here. The way I throw up where we're at on Instagram and Twitter and uh, TikTok, you know, we're all at JFN Podcast. So, but uh, look, team, at this point, I mean, celebrities are just left and right. They're it's like people find information, people find old clips about them, and it's like that's it. Uh, you say something back from like 1980, you're in trouble. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. say something back from 1990, you're you're in trouble. For sure. <laughs> you know? For sure, man. Uh, so, I mean, it's just, it's brutal. Uh, yeah. And, and you, and you know, don't want to tell people to shut their mouths because right. it, we're, we're in America. It yeah. was founded on a reason that everyone can be free to do what they want. Right. 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 To be, love whoever you want, to speak your mind on whatever you want, to support whoever you want. You know, I mean, to practice any kind of religion you want this is what this country was founded on to do all kinds of things like that so yeah uh, yeah so it sucks when uh that shit happens so. yeah i mean for me like i said uh, in our group i said uh i missed a time when i didn't know what the hell these celebrities were thinking exactly. or what their political yeah. views were or whatever and yeah. we don't get political here on just another friday nope. night that's not our bag nope. and that's not our group i don't bag. like any political party yeah and if you guys see that in our group um i don't we don't tolerate that we will delete those comments we've never had to delete comments before or remove anybody but we will uh and we say that only because we want it to be a fun place. Like that's I said, it. the things that we talk about. I see are, that shit on the news. Yeah. You I don't know, want you, to see it in the in our group. Join the CNN group or join yeah. the political parties. There's all group. these other groups. We're there to talk about comics, movies, Wrestling. TV shows, fun, something, you know, fun that you love, that you enjoy, that two people that don't agree can sit down and both say, hey, yeah. that's a badass I, movie. You like know? recently I posted up like a, my listing of Predator rankings. Yeah, and great, you know, great it was list. A, it was a friendly debate on some of those. Some people were like, only Predator. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I had another buddy of ours, Adam, saying that uh, the Predator was better than Requiem. Yeah, so I mean, it was tough. you know, it was funny. You yeah. know, it was stupid that, shit like that. Those kind of debates yeah. we encourage, and please come out more and, and talk more. Yeah, like I that, only but... did it because I was watching Predators yeah. on uh, the Sundance Channel. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I really like that one. I, the I really, one. Yeah, yeah, I, I really really like that one. That's too. a great sequel. Probably the best sequel out of all of them. So. We kind of stopped, uh, me and my nephew. We were watching our way through, but we're up at pre Predators will be one. next. So we got to do that one. that one. And the Predator, and then we'll be done. That one's just awesome. Adrian Brody is fucking outstanding in that movie. So, yeah, so it's tough. I can say this. As a Star Wars fan, I'm super sad about Gina Carano not going to be Cara Dune anymore. Cara Dune is a badass character. She's you know a badass and, female and, character. And then people were, like, talking about recasting. Don't recast it. Just kill off the character or I move on you know i don't want to see lucy lawless <laughs> too old as Kara dune and i don't want to see sonia deville the wwe uh wrestler she's got the look i think she's not okay. can't she act we don't know i don't want to see anybody else but gina carano so. yeah I, I think she did do a good job of building up that character she was also great in deadpool and like i said i mean guys if your job tells you you can't say certain stuff or you can't wear a t-shirt with you know weed on it you can't wear a t-shirt yeah. with weed on it because your yeah, job you says you you'll lose blue. your job yeah, right you can't dye your hair yeah. blue in school or yeah or red or whatever right you know? so yeah. right now if you want to operate outside those rules then you don't work at that place no more whatever, which is unfortunately <laughs> yeah. what happened you know what i mean so um but I, we digress so that happened yeah. um we got some more snyder cut news guys we're right here it's about to happen in a couple of days valentine's day yeah zach snyder's giving us the biggest a gift at hbo max trailer a full trailer and then it releases on the 21st on um, it's so march march 18th march 18th okay yeah so we're gonna get a full trailer this valentine's but, yeah day. finally we're gonna see like dark side we're gonna see apocalypse the planet apocalypse mm -hmm. so i'm really looking forward to this one so yeah yeah, guys. I'm, I haven't been looking forward to the Snyder Cut, but when he started saying like a Dark Side and Apocalypse, I was like, okay, now you're now you're willing me in. Yeah. So. If you follow Zack Snyder's uh, Twitter, he posted some little clips that were like, I guess they're clips of the trailer that are, you know, uh, Superman in the black costume. We, we all knew that was going to happen, I and mean, it's a pretty cool little snippet, like seconds, um, and. Uh, that that's really awesome uh steve says uh, i see adam's t uh practically his uniform here i gotta get this guy his black one is missing um uh, but uh what's mine mine is uh have you ever seen clerks uh steve 
Berserker. <laughs> this is Olaf. Uh, or is it the Olaf? Russian death metal singer. Russian death metal singer. Yeah, uh, it's neat on the back. It has the dates of his show. It's from a movie called Clerks, though, Steve. Yeah, it's a pretty funny little scene. A minor character, but later on, this same shirt is worn by another character from the Jay and Silent Bob movies. Uh, Jay wears this shirt, I think, in uh, one of the later movies. Oh, okay. He's wearing this okay. Berserker shirt. But yeah, I got this because I, I love the Kevin I love Kevin Smith and his movies. So um, Rich has a question here. He says, what do y'all think about the last of the show, the casting of Joel and Ellie? I've heard nothing but good things about this game. Yeah. Uh, it was a video game. The last of us, I've heard all good things. Um, it looked really interesting. I have not had a chance to play it, but when I saw the casting, damn, that's yeah. great. Pedro Pascal yeah. in the lead uh, as the one, the one lead and then the other lead. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't have the little girl's name in front of me, but the little girl from also game of Thrones, who was, uh, the, one of the Mormonts and she was, uh, very badass. Everyone loved her and she had a oh, her. death. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll be them <laughs> game of Thrones alumni together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I forget what her name is. Uh, Friday Night or Holty Bear, if you're still watching. I know you loved her character a lot, too. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's... Liana. 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 There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, awesome. I think that's awesome, Rich. I can't wait for that to come out. I'll be uh, there ready to watch it or if it comes out at home or hopefully it comes out in a time when we can go back to theaters. That'd be really great because I'll definitely watch that. Love those two actors uh, and love to see what they're going to do together and and love to learn more about that story. Maybe by that time, I'll play some I'll be game. watching it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that was super cool news. Yeah. Other thing was, was um, I think I saw this today, uh, was uh, the Dave Chappelle stuff, guys, if you're fans of Dave Chappelle. I, I didn't know this comedy. until CM told me, so. Yeah, yeah. so he did this uh, video back in November of 2020, pretty much about how he was done dirty by Comedy Central and about his show and uh, subsequently, it was removed from Netflix and HBO Max. Um, I had a separate opinion about this that I won't get into here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he pretty much took it to the fans and said, hey, this is what happened to me. What do y'all think? I think that it's wrong. You guys should speak out to the shareholders. He referred to the fans as his real bosses. Um, and we found out recently that uh, I think the Chappelle show went back on Netflix today. He got a settlement or I don't know what you'd call it, but with Viacom, and he had lost the ownership of the name Chappelle Show. He got that back. Chappelle Show is Chappelle's once again, and he got paid from Comedy Central and Viacom, uh, who I believe owns Comedy Central, and he uh, got uh, back a deal with Netflix. So now you can watch the Chappelle Show on streaming again on Netflix. So uh, kudos to Dave. Congrats. My opinion that I had on it was apparently not a sound one because Dave proved me wrong, and he, he what he did worked. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, good for him. I mean, I'm a I'm a Chappelle show uh, fan. I'm a fan of Dave Chappelle. I own his stand up DVDs. Yeah, and I mean, if the, he came, the, the most likely me and CM would would probably have checked him out. He had some Texas dates lined up, yeah. which I didn't know. And uh, I, I believe this one he called it Redemption Song Double A. You can find it on oh, Instagram nice, or YouTube. Nice. He called it that. It was actually shot out of Stubbs in Austin or whatever. So okay. he he loves Austin yes. apparently. I've, so. I've seen that place multiple times yeah. when I used to deliver up in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty cool. So good news for him. I mean, hey, anytime a guy gets the bag, I guess more power sure. to you. That's yeah. cool. I, sure. we, we want it. Give it to us. You know Comedians I mean? get screwed all the time. Three Stooges got a really bad deal on their shorts. They got screwed mm. so many times. Uh, they were only paying like hundreds of dollars for their Jeez. reels while the company they were working for earned millions wow. off, the, off them. So, I didn't know that. Did yeah. they die with money? or They did. Uh, okay. When they came back in the 60s, when they became a hot act in the mm -hmm. 60s again, they formed their own company. But as far as like the, the shorts go, no. Wow. And that's where just, the money's at. It was just was the shorts. Yeah. yeah. So How crazy. They screwed them big time. So. And they got some Scooby-Doo money because they come out on Scooby-Doo <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so that's so. pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah. You know, hey, I mean, it is. So I guess it happens all the time. It's like we said, though, if, if a company comes to you with an offer, most likely you're going to take it because I only knew Dave Chappelle prior to that show from Half Baked and Robin Man, Hood Men in Tights. Tights. Yeah. That was it. So, I mean, yeah, bad deal, but it was the only way your name was going to be broadcasted. For sure. For you sure. Know, so. You never know if that first deal you take is the one you. And it's not. It's the probably best not going to be the not, best. You know but I mean? you're, it's going to be the most money you're ever going to make up to that point. I know? sold my first comic book collection, guys. I think that I got a raw deal. I would love to take it to the fans and, and get, you know, what I deserved for it or whatever. But hell, I don't even remember what was in that. Uh, uh, deal in, in 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 that collection anymore so it's like i wouldn't you know yeah. how would i even quantify that but yeah. hey, it is what it is you know what i mean I, I made that choice and i had to live with it so 
Uh, Holty Bear says uh, the three stooges got the poke, <laughs> literally. Yeah, seriously. And uh, Rich says he's glad that he got paid. He deserves it for Rock sure. Roxanne says, would you like to make fuck berserk? Uh, <laughs> nice, Roxanne. Great job, Roxy. And Holt says, uh, Liana Mormont, the North remembers. The North remembers. That's right. That's right. And Rich said the game was really good. Um, cool. Cool. Yeah, I would love to check it out. Is it cool. a zombie game, Rich? It kind of feels zombies are just end of the world. I don't really know what the what the kind of premise is. But, just the title alone. But, right? the uh, yeah, the last one's one's very right. And it looks, man, double A. It looks like a movie when you're seeing the, the premise nice. for it. So nice. that's pretty sweet there and on its own. Um, I think that's all I had really on news. Uh, yeah, really. news-wise. Uh, last Saturday, me and CM, we visited our buddy uh, Mark mm -hmm. Rail mm -hmm. from Authority Comics. And again, he was having a sell last weekend. He is going to be closed this weekend and next weekend. But uh, this past weekend, I purchased statues. Yeah. Uh, Double A. I purchased this really badass Neymar statue. And it's right here. Really nicely detailed. The Submariner himself. Yep, Submariner, Neymar. He gave me a really good deal on this one. And then this next one, because I'm a big fan of Red Sonia. I love the character Red Sonia. I love the origin behind her. My daughter asked me what she is. I said, if you, you know, think Conan is a badass motherfucker, this would probably be the female version of Conan. She kills people without prejudice, everything. So <laughs> yeah. uh, she's a bad, bad fucking hero. And here is her statue. And Double A didn't talk like that to his daughter, guys. She's talking like that to you guys. <laughs> It, it, you can't really tell, but this is the black and white, which I, I'm not a big fan of black and white, but the red hair just, and the red lips really yeah, makes it pop. It it's pops. a gorgeous statue. This lighting doesn't know justice. No, it you doesn't. And I'll one. take a picture of it uh, later so you can see. Yeah. But I love the character Red Sonia. He gave me a really good deal on this one. Um, so I was glad to add her to my collection. And it's big. It's a big Yeah, it's, fucking, it's a good size. You know. My and it was neat. It kind of came apart. Is it heavy? It's yeah. It's, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got some definitely weight yeah. to it. It's very so. cool looking. I, I love it. I was admiring her. and I wish she was here to sit with us, really. She, <laughs> she might, would kill us. She might get bored and want to ha hack <laughs> shit yeah. up. She'd probably chop her fucking heads off. She'd so. be like, man, lousy men talk too because much. Because part of her thing is like she will lay in bed with the man unless they beat her in combat. And that's pretty much fucking nearly impossible. I did not know Conan. that. So, yeah. Unless I was going to say, Conan. unless you're Conan. So. Yeah, well, then that means we'd be getting nothing. So. so he gave me a really good deal. He dropped those prices a lot. He gave me a super good deal. Again, he's going to be closed the next two weekends, but he said when he comes back on the 27th, he's having another big sell. So check it out. Guys. And, and if you go to Trader's Village that weekend, Lou Ferregno will be there. Yeah. The original be Incredible pretty cool. Hulk. The original Incredible Hulk. And, guys, uh, I went out last weekend and uh, visited Mario. Uh, I didn't pick up any statues myself. But believe me, there is tons uh, of yeah. gorgeous stuff in there. We yeah. put up some stuff on our TikTok. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Again, our TikTok, you can find it at uh, JAFN Podcast. Real easy. Uh, guys, <laughs> and the statues were so beautiful. So many of them, Mario will cut you a great deal, mm -hmm. depending on where your price price point is. Uh, you know what I mean? But for me, it was, it was a little bit out of my price range. But depending if that's your thing and you're ready to spend that kind of money, uh, you will not get a better deal than what Mario's giving yeah. you right um, now. Statues are kind of like out of our, like, limit mm -hmm. but you know what he gave me such a good prices on these past four ones i couldn't pass them up yeah. and you know he gave me a great deal so uh, i'm yeah. taking it when he comes back again i'm gonna go again and, and i literally else. asked him if he had anything else in the price point that double a got i said i'll scoop it up right now whatever yeah. so yeah uh, it's really cool yeah. hawkeye that i'm thinking about more and more getting mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. hawkeye grew grew on me with the movies yeah no, definitely. Jeremy Renner. Oh, I love Jeremy Renner. I was never That's, a big Hawkeye fan, but Jeremy Renner made me a Hawkeye fan. So. And to transition right into that, one of the things I picked exactly, up last week yeah. at the comic book store, yeah. another Alex timeless Ross timeless cover, cover of here. Hawkeye. Yeah, and pretty much he's in this pose in the statue. Yep. So if you want to beat Double A over there to Mario's and get a statue, then you can. <laughs> but uh, you know, we don't want him to lose out on that. So yeah. So I loved that. I picked that up. And then I also picked up this. I, I pretty Great much cover. This cover has been like selling out like crazy. This already like a third printing of this one. Did you know that, Sam? I did. I think it's in yeah. blue. This one's yes. in red. And then a this, great, is, this great is the second drawing. printing. 
I haven't uh, read this story yet. I don't know what it's about. It's issue 55 of Amazing You know Spider what? Man. At this point, me and Sam are like, fuck the stories. We're really buying these for our covers now. <laughs> and I haven't bought stuff just for covers in a long time. Uh, guys, I know we're not talking too much about WandaVision. Please, no one spoil today's Double A yeah. has not seen it yet. Yeah. I have. But I am, what we can say is that we're 100% loving this show. Oh, yeah. The show is fucking yeah. giving me life. I love that from the first episode. People are talking about, you know, there's different sides on mm -hmm. the Cara Dune, Gina Carano thing, and people are like, cancel Disney. I would never cancel <laughs> Disney as long as WandaVision no. is on. <laughs> that show is fucking <laughs> like the Mandalorian ends, and then I get this. Wow, 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 wow. If you're not watching WandaVision, you don't have Disney Plus. Get it and get watching. So I wanted to read what some the of the basic, story. I think, you know, the class yeah. House of M. I found this with Double A over at Heroes and Fantasies, uh, and it's hard to find right now. But then I, I went to Gravity Damage Comics, so I was able to find almost all the other single issues. So it's issue two, issue three. Damn, this light. We're not getting anything there. Issue three, uh, issue four. Or the it's Hawkeye good right again. There. It's there's, good right there. There's Hawkeye yeah. again. Right there. Yeah. Uh, issue five. And I got a great price on them, and they were um, there were there were more. So if you're looking for House of M, you want to read it more. Uh, issue six with uh, some important Magneto. people there on the cover, mm -hmm. and then I'm missing issue seven, and then miss issue eight because why like eight are you missing issue seven, Sam? This was an eight part series, and uh, issue seven is the very key issue <laughs> of this issue where something very yeah. important happens that we won't reveal to you here. No. But yeah, so that's the hard one to find. I couldn't Man, find it because it like, goes for a lot more. Fuck. So yeah. if you guys have one laying around, you know where I can get one. House of M, issue it. seven. If you guys know it, please hit him up. <laughs> Let's get a little bit back more into some of the comments here, Double A. What do we got? Richard says, yes, it is Zombies and End of the World. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. For The Last of Us. All right, I can definitely get into that. I love The Walking Dead, and so, I mean, hey, more zombies, the better. Uh, let's see what else here. John. Uh, let me see. Uh, Holty says, Double A, give me that name or statue. I'll trade you for some The Fly comics. Ooh, was the fly in comics? Yes, it was. It was the oh, sequel to the fly part two. Ooh, I want to see. I want to read that, Holty. Uh, Rich says, "Wow, those are some badass statues." Goodbye. Thanks, Richard. And uh, Holty says, "Double A, have any more? Did he have any more names? No, no more name or statues, no. uh, Holty. But yeah, he had the Hawkeye. He had Yellow Jacket, Doc Samson, which I'm sure mini, John doesn't care about. Yeah, and he had a, <laughs> he had a mini Daredevil that was pretty cool, but it was even more mini than the Namor. So, and those are such a unique size. They're like they're just like yeah, a perfect size. It's cool though, you know. It's oh yeah, cool. he looks buff. Yeah. It's water underneath them, right? So I love that. That light catching him right there makes him look really good. Yep. Guys, who do you want to see cast as Namor? Who's going to be Namor? Ooh. We need to get Namor in the movies Ooh. already, man. I love love that character. Uh, both both uh, suit styles. Aaron B. in the house. What up, Aaron B.? What's up, Aaron? Hey, man. Uh, we're just breaking your balls a little bit last week, brother. We know yeah. we, we love and support you. We appreciate you being we here We love that us. you support us. Yeah. Trust me. You, do, and you literally do support us financially on our show. Well, and not guys, just that, but I mean, we wouldn't be able to do this podcast without what Aaron did. Truly not. So, truly not. The mic we speak into right so now. Aaron, courtesy you of Aaron. are a big part of this show. You are the man, sir. Here is to Aaron. Cheers Hi. to this guy right here. Uh, and if you want to be a supporter of the show like Aaron is, you can go to anchor.fm uh, for just another Friday night. And there's a link there you can click on and you can just uh, you can donate. I think it's either one, five yeah, or ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. I contribute to our own podcast because I need financial soundness in my show so <laughs> so i do the ten dollars uh i think aaron's on a different tier or whatever not required show is always free or whatever but yep. if you want to give a little bit more to the cause then that's great um we appreciate that you know what i mean all that stuff goes back into the show goes back into getting headsets uh getting a new mic eventually we'd like to have like kind of joe rogan style our own mics here with the uh pop screens on there make better sound but um you know all all in a, all in a matter of time you know what i mean and so and funding but um yeah, guys, I think that's it for news. Aaron says, uh, proud of y'all. Thank you so much, Aaron. We are all equally proud of you. Uh, Yvette in the house. Hey, What's Yvette? up, Yvette? Hi. Um, guys, as you know, every 30 minutes we take a little bit of a break, not from the live stream, but just for our audio listeners. Uh, on the first break, I put in a little commercial, if you're listening to it, just on audio, like on Spotify, iTunes, uh, oh, shoot, Google Podcasts. Breaker, Podcast Addicts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Anywhere you can find it. Amazon. Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Audible. We're on Audible if you Audible listen to that. Too. They got podcasts yeah. for free. So we do that little break. So. You can watch the show on YouTube. Yes, please watch the show on YouTube. And please subscribe to us because we need to get to 100, guys. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube so then we can be 
you know, youtube.com slash just another Friday night or slash JF and podcast. We're going to see what's available, but we're only at 30 right now. And we got to get to a hundred. So tell your friends, tell your family, subscribe. You don't have to put the notifications on if you don't want to, but yeah. it'd be nice if you did. We only put out one video a week right now. It's this one right here. So, uh, but guys, uh, for our audio listeners, let me let you know, we're going to take a little quick break and then we'll be right back. If you're joining us live on a Friday night for the live version of the show, well, keep hanging out. We're going to keep hanging out and talking to you. We'll be right back. Guys, again, if you're here with us on uh, our live feed, uh, which we do every Friday night, or you can join the conversation, um, you, we know you, we didn't go anywhere. So, yeah, I nice. read through most of the comments, uh, I think, already. Uh, if you want to know our topic, we, we are celebrating Valentine's Day. Uh, we're trying to do it. So, hey, guys, if you have a really interesting Valentine's Day story, um, something that happened maybe to you on Valentine's Day, uh, how you met your significant other, let us know. Drop comments. Let us know. If you're single and you hate Valentine's Day, let, let us know. know why. Let us know what you do on Valentine's Day to fucking stick your finger to Valentine's Day and say, fuck you. Yeah. Or maybe you're like me and my girlfriend. We've been a couple for forever, and it's like, we're not kind of huge on Valentine's Day. We kind of feel like it's like a Hallmark there holiday. There is a lot of couples like that, Yeah, too. we're just like, eh, you know, like one more day to get stressed out about in addition to birthdays, Christmas, and all that. It's like, you know what? Like, But if you're not like CM Chuck and <laughs> Chuck and Jess, um, what are your rituals? What do you do on Valentine's Day? Is it going to change because it's going to be so fucking cold? Yeah. Um, any we movie, change our plans. Yeah. Any movie recommendations that you think we should watch on Valentine's Day? Uh, what are you guys going to be doing? On What are you guys going to be eating? What are you guys going to be making? Let us know. Uh, give us some comments uh, and we'll read them to you. Yeah, uh, we're going to go deep into we're kind of changing ours up a little bit. It's going to be unconventional, unconventional love stories. So, guys, if you can think of one, I don't know if you can really see it back here, but I have some stuff of unconventional love stories back here. So, if you know, and there's our title, guys. Love be a podcast yeah. tonight. Uh, I took That's the name kind of in tribute to uh, one of our favorite, maybe. Favorite creator or second favorite? Creator? I would say definitely like maybe second, maybe second, second favorite, favorite creator. Yeah, second favorite creator, Stan Lee. So mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, he comes out in uh, 1995's Mall Rats when he reversed. If TV. you guys love the Kevin Smith movies, we're going to be going deep into Kevin Smith movies today too. So I got I got a lot to say about Kevin Smith and what I consider to be his unconventional unconventional love mm -hmm. stories regarding that. Yeah. But um, let's see, what does Aaron say here? He says. Uh, there you go. Right I remember here. one Valentine's Day I met this dominatrix chick. She scared me, so I left. <laughs> Where did you meet her, Aaron? And Aaron, <laughs> that was that was about to be the best Valentine's Day ever, yeah. Aaron. Why did you leave? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Holty Bear says my best Valentine's Day was in 1990 when my sister was oh, born. Wow. Oh, okay. that's right. That's your sister's birthday. Wow, yeah. February 14th. That's I believe awesome. it's also Michael Jordan's birthday. If Is I'm it? correct? Okay, I think man, so. that's cool, John. That's a cool story. Uh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday, Jacqueline. Early, happy early birthday. And and happy Valentine's Day, Jess. Hun, I know you're probably not watching me right now. So I know you're not feeling that good, but uh, happy Valentine's Day <laughs> to you, hun. Um, Roxy, Foxy Roxy says, I love Valentine's Day. I watch Valentine horror movies. Uh, Valentine, uh, Valentine, My Bloody Valentine. Is that the whole No, movie? no, no. It's Valentine. I'm going to see that movie for the first time ah, tomorrow. Okay, Valentine. And then My Bloody Valentine is the one with the axe. Okay, the and the guy that has like a gas mask. Yes, the minor. Thing. Okay, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And what did Aaron say? One more real quick. Let me get, get back to that our, one more comment episode. there. That was during that tent party. Do you know what he's referring to? Ah, the tent party. I don't remember that. Uh, I have to refresh my memory on that one, Aaron B. But it sounds like a good time. Hey, double A, I'll take one of those. Okay. Cole Brewski's there if you did not mind, sir. Hey, guys, how about last week? Did you guys enjoy last week's show yeah. and, and our guest, yeah. uh, Jack, and the 80s conversation? We had, um, we had our first ever on-camera restroom break. I, I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, Jack realized how we uh, how we do it here on just another Friday night. We're, we're holding our bladders, and then Double A took a cue from that and took a bad I, break too. Guys, I cannot hold it. I had a bad week, and yeah. me and Jack kind of uh, really tore it up last week. So. I, I'm telling you guys, uh, right after the show ends every Friday night, I'm right to the first place I go and relieve myself and i can I have never to. have like a really short piss i always have to have one of those tom hanks pisses yeah jimmy you know, dugan's just, a league of their yeah. own style yeah i'm leaning yeah. right up against your wall in there and i'm just like geez louise how many did we drink so uh guys let's get back let's get into this yeah, conversation let's get right now into this remember guys if you have any uh movie suggestions uh for valentine's lovers or um 
people who hate Valentine's Day. Yeah, or, uh, or, let or us maybe know. stories about love lost or failed yeah. love. Or what about Again, what, it doesn't have to be a yeah. uh, uh, excuse me a movie. It can be a comic book, a yeah. TV show that you yeah. feel centered around that. Let us know which ones were your favorite. Like a you know, I think sometimes about the Wonder Years and Winnie and and Kevin or whatever who Terrible don't even end up together in the damn end. Terrible relationship. <laughs> I hate that relationship so much. <laughs> Terrible. All right, guys, we're going to start up the All audio right. again for uh, our audio listeners, and then we're going to carry on the conversation All with right, you here. Guys, and don't leave forget, your comments. Yeah, at the next 30-minute mark, we're going to read all through all those. So here we go. Guys, thanks so much for hanging in there real quick through that short break, and we are back here on just another Friday night. Uh, if you guys know, uh, join the conversation. Every Friday night, we go Facebook Live, and uh, eventually afterwards, the video goes out onto YouTube, uh, which again, we're trying to hit 100 followers, so please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us get to 100. We're only 60, about 60 away. Um, just hit the subscribe button, and then, then once we get there, we're able to change our URL to youtube.com slash either just another Friday night or JAFN podcast. Uh, so that would be super, super uh, rad of you guys. And we greatly appreciate that. Now, uh, if you were joining us on the live right now, you know, we didn't go anywhere, but for our audio listeners, we took a quick little break and we have revealed tonight's topic to be Valentine's day and unconventional love stories on love be a podcast tonight. Double a adrenalize me. Where do we start? Okay, so I mean, I have some suggestions back here. Mm -hmm. uh, Great wall. What about Fight Club? How weird is that one? <laughs> yeah, weird to say the least. Um, definitely not a movie. I think that you could would if you were working at Blockbuster Video, dating ourselves, or or, or, or you were categorizing movies at Netflix, and you were going to go under romance movies or comedies, you would not put Fight Club in there. You might put it under drama i guess maybe uh although it's kind of funny you know what i mean but there mm. definitely is the underlying love story between would you Wait, say he doesn't even know it that's what's kind right. of weird it's is like, it tyler it's and like Marla? his fucking mind zones off when he becomes tyler dirty exactly exactly it's spoiler like alert up, you haven't yeah, seen yeah it. it's like he wakes up not knowing he just fucked marla you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? and he's kind of getting mad that tyler is having sex with marla right that's what's kind of weird about it too well right? he has his own uh and we're going to touch on this theme again <laughs> you're the one that brought my attention to this you almost feel as though edward norton's character who they sometimes refer to as jack uh mm -hmm. yeah has a a, a love relationship with Tyler. You think that, right? Yes, yeah. he gets jealous when he, you know, he's being friends with Jared Leto, mm -hmm. and he gets mad when he's banging Marla. And you're like, well, does he like Tyler? Is mm -hmm. he infatuated with Tyler? You know, I mean, but I mean, obviously, you find out they are one you know, and the same. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's weird. The relationship is weird, mm -hmm. you know. And then she's like, <laughs> one, you know, one day you tell me you love me, the next day you tell me to, you know, go home and. You know, and yeah. it's just like, what the hell? Like, yeah. you're like, what the fuck? You know, it's a great, great moment. And right from the beginning, where they're like, you kind of get the the sitcom y rom com feel when they first meet and they're like at each other's throats. And then they, and then they kind of come to like a mutual, you know, ground. And so you're like, oh, it's going to go to that next stage. But then you insert Tyler Durden and it's like everything's happening with him and her. But then when he gets Tyler back into himself, that's when he's like, oh, I do love Marla. Right. I do want Marla to be with me. And then that ending scene, I mean, I love they're it. holding hands, but it. the building exploding and then you hear the pixies. Yeah. You know? Rising up. And what does he say to her? Double A. You met me at a really strange time <laughs> yeah. in my life. <laughs> and there, there's a comic book sequel to that fight yes, club, too. I own yes. the hardcover. I've yet to read it, and I should, because I would like to know what yeah. happens in Tyler yeah. and Marla's love story uh, but, that carries I mean, on. Kind of like a love story, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I think I mean, so. Like, I think so. They they meet each other at weird, just being weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going to, like, cancer meeting. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, like, like you're AA dying. and yeah, all, stuff, all these. Right, yeah, right. and then, you know, they just bond over time. And, yeah. You know, and she's fucked up. She's oh, like, su they, they're super both super happy issues. Gonna, yeah, she was gonna almost overdose. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, so, right, yeah. right. And he goes over there to uh, uh well, Tyler goes over there to, to <laughs> yeah, help I her mean, out. You know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. definitely a different and unconventional you know, well, love story. You know what? I, I always laugh when like Edward Norton, like he's like hearing them, and then he's kind of like peeking, like you know, when they're having sex. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> and then Brad Pitt comes and he has like a glove on. Yeah, and like, you're like what the dishwashing? Yeah, you're like what the. Yeah. How is he doing with that glove? <laughs> he, he, as he tells it, you want to finish her off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to finish her off. <laughs> yeah, it's just like so odd because, again, there's a really unique, uh, you know, 
twist in that film. <laughs> yeah. So Fight Club, great one, great one. Um, I'm going to bring up one that I don't know if you've seen, okay. and it just came to my mind right now in talking about that. I think it's such a great – and and I, I, I want to say, when we say unconventional, I guess maybe we mean like a movie you might not think that you might yeah. watch yeah. on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day per se. Um, but did you ever see Stranger Than Fiction with Will Ferrell? No, but that's where he hears the voice in his head, right? That's right. Yeah, okay. it's also got Dustin Hoffman, Maggie yeah. Gyllenhaal, yeah. and then uh, Professor Trelawney from uh, Harry Potter. I forget her name. Always escapes me. She's also in Love Actually. She's the – Emma – Yeah, Thompson? Tom Thompson. Emma Thompson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So basically in this movie, guys, uh, Will Ferrell is a auditor. IRS guy. Yeah, oh, an auditor. Okay. Yeah, he's an auditor. He goes to audit uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, who's a baker. Um, and throughout the course of this, he starts to hear a voice in his head that's pretty much like a narrator. Um, that's right. And it yeah. tells him that he's going to die. And so he's like, wait, what? Like, why am I going to die? So, of course, he thinks he's insane. He eventually <laughs> goes to go see a professor of literature who is Dustin Hoffman. And Dustin Hoffman, you know, is wanting him to tell me everything. Tell me exactly how the voice is talking. And he's trying to piece it together. And he's telling him, you need to find out if you're in a comedy or, or a tragedy. Uh, wait, is it a tragedy, a comedy or a tragedy, a, a, a tragedy or something else? And so he's interacting with Maggie Gyllenhaal and he's, he's auditing her, but you know, she's giving him a hard time because he's a, she's kind of like a free spirit and, and he's like, you know, this IRS stiff or whatever. And, uh, but he's slowly kind of fall, falling for her. And uh, it's got a little love story wound in there that you don't really see. In addition to all this other stuff, Queen Latifah comes out oh, yeah. and just this whole like random scenario of like, what if your life was just a story and it was being narrated by somebody else, <laughs> Ooh, but then you could yeah. suddenly hear the narrator yeah. and it was telling you that, you know, today, your next movie yeah, is and today double A finished his podcast. And then <laughs> afterwards he met his demise. You'd be like, what the uh, fuck? Wait, what's yeah. going on? So that's exactly what happens to yeah. uh, Will Ferrell's character, Harold Crick in the movie, yeah. uh, stranger than fiction. I truly, truly love it. It has a beautiful soundtrack. So many of these beautiful heartfelt, uh, heartfelt moments. Uh, if you've not seen it and you want to watch it with cool. your significant other, cool. or if you're without a significant other, but you just want to feel that feeling on Valentine's Day, I highly suggest Stranger Than Fiction. I'll give you my one of my favorite, cutest little beats in the movie. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal is a baker. She looks very beautiful in this movie to me. Uh, and, uh, you know, he wants to bring her flowers. So he brings her a bunch of little bags of flour wrapped up. <laughs> and he says, I brought you flowers. <laughs> and pretty much that's what melts her or whatever. Uh, Cause she was pretty much like you fucking <laughs> stiff corporate, Damn. you know, IRS dick. You know what I mean? Uh, she literally at one point gives him this big ass box of receipts. And he's like, these are how you keep your receipts. She goes, no, actually I'm quite tidy. I messed those all up for you before you got here. <laughs> so it's that whole, you know, uh, back and forth. It ends up really having a, a really, really, awesome overall message to it kind of about life you know what i mean like i said sometimes these stories about life end up having like a love story wrapped into them so yeah, yeah. but uh what's next on your list double uh, it's funny because like i kind of tricked my wife into seeing this ah, one i love this uh, story it was rocky <laughs> she was like man but you know she was like i really don't want to see this movie it's a boxy movie i go uh -uh. And I go, it's a love movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, there's a love story behind this. You hardly even see the boxing. Boxing doesn't even come on until like the end of the movie. Right. And I was just like saying this, just to say it until like I finally like watched it myself with her. And I was like, holy shit, this is a love movie. That, <laughs> you know? this, this guy, we don't normally see this at the end of the show, but this is an example of whatever it takes. You got to <laughs> get someone to watch Rocky. Whatever it takes. So she loved the movie so much. She loved the relationship between Rocky and Adrian that she fell in love with the first one. And then we proceeded to see all the other ones after that because she wanted to see more Rocky. Yeah. And she ended up loving Rocky. Uh, saying, even going so far as saying that if we met Sylvester Stallone, it would be Rocky that we signed up. Oh, like, that's good. I, I like, Fuck. These guys meet when they when conventions work and they meet celebrities, but then they end up meeting celebrities that they love from different properties so yeah. that they've got to decide yeah, on so, what they're going to get yeah, signed. See, you like know? for me, it's like Sylvester Stallone, if I would have him, it's first blood. Yeah, Rambo. I Rambo love guy. Rambo. I think that movie is a better <laughs> like story than Rocky, but you know, I'm like, fuck, you know, so if we meet him, it's probably going to be Rocky. <laughs> that's pretty awesome um, and that yeah, is, that is I mean, a great love that's story I, yeah and that's how i got her yeah. to see rocky was under the pretense that it was a love movie 
you don't get to boxing until the end. Yeah. You know, and so. it's funny you kind of bring that to my mind because then it makes me think what a great job did Ryan Coogler do with Creed, Creed. where there's also yes. another love story yes. with, you know, uh, almost kind of like Rocky in a way, but I mean, differences, yeah. you know, a lot of differences, yeah. but yeah. With Donnie and, and Tessa Thompson's character, yeah. which is very, a very beautiful love story too. It in is. its own right. Yes. So, I mean, that's definitely a huge theme of Rocky in addition to being yeah. about that first one though, for know. sure. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, so much so, and all the callbacks to that or whatever are, are beautiful throughout that series. Um, next one I want to talk about, I'm gonna talk about it pretty quick here or whatever, but so we get a comic book. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one talk about unconventional love stories, guys. This is by Matt, I believe it's Faction, Fra Fraction, not Fraction, not Fraction, and uh, Chip Zadarsky. It's called Sex Criminals. And I heard about this watching Robert Kirkman's Secret History of. Comics. comics okay and the image episode image okay. that's who uh Im this is by image image comics great right guys spawn um pretty much the third largest uh comic producer yeah uh the cool thing about this story is weird right and that you know matt fraction talks in the episode of robert kirkman's secret history of comics which you can watch on amazon prime on amazon on uh, shutter too you can watch yeah, on shutter the image watch yeah. the image comic book episode and he says this is why i love images because this is a book that i wrote that i couldn't take to marvel or dc they're nope. not going to produce this nope. book for me mm -mm. and we'll tell you why another unconventional love story starts out about this girl who finds out when she comes that time stops <laughs> Pretty much, so she figures out how to <laughs> masturbate as a young female uh, lady, and when she, you know, orgasms, time stops. It freezes. It literally freezes. Like she walks out, and like the birds <laughs> have stopped flying. Like you know, and it's like, well, it's like, and the the premise is is that it lasts until she's able to recover and have like another one. Well, during one of her episodes uh, at a party with a guy, uh, they hook up and. She they, she does her thing and she orgasms and she's like oh now it's my time to kind of like you know mill around because I'm in the frozen time. Well, this guy wakes up and she can talk to him and she's Whoa. like, what the hell are you doing here? And then he's like, what are you doing here? This happens to me too. And so she's like, I've never met anybody else. This this that this happens to or whatever. She calls it the quiet. So when she calls it the quiet, so then she has a funny moment where she asks him, well, what do you call it? And he goes, I call it come world. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, eventually, you know, he's telling her his story and he's like, yeah, when I figured it out, uh, the first thing I did was go to the adult store or whatever. And he goes to the adult store and he's like putting dildos in people's hands oh, and then geez. their faces and all that. Yeah. You know, he's being a young, young man. Yeah. And uh, he's like, I stole all this porn and I had all this stuff, or whatever. So he's like, yeah, when I would go, I would just kind of like go do whatever I wanted when, when time would freeze. But then he has the idea to tell her because she's trying to save a, a library that's uh, going to get shut down. And he's like, they can't get the money. He works some fucking job he hates, like an office jockey. And he's like, well, why don't we, when we freeze time, why don't we just go rob a bank? So that's their that's their plan or whatever. Um, I'm not all the way through with it. I haven't read book two. I've read book one. It was very interesting. It was like nothing I'd ever read before. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, she, that's something Marvel and DC definitely would not aren't touching. Um, I can eventually see this property becoming optioned and becoming some type of a movie. I don't know how they series, will do it. Maybe. A series. series. It has to be on Netflix or HBO Max because yeah. it's like it's yeah. gonna be pretty raunchy. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's funny. One of the neat little beats about the comic book is that she tells different stories and that she's kind of narrating to you. She's talking to ah, you through the okay. panel. Okay. And when she's doing it, whatever she's talking about, she's like uh she's dressed up. Like I think she does a part where she's kind of talking about Pulp Fiction and she's dressed like Uma Thurman's character and, nice. uh, you know, different things, you know, in one part, she's kind of dressed like whatever it is she's talking about. Uh, it's really unconventional and it's interesting and it's funny. Uh, I think it's a pretty delightful uh, story. So um, yeah, Sex Criminals, if you ever get a chance to check it out. And where can you uh, find this mostly? If you, if you were uh, store hopping. I, um, I found this on Amazon. Okay. I, okay. I don't want to shoot down the little comic book stores because I love our little local I, comic shops. I know. Shops. It'd be hard to find those like maybe at like a Heroes. I was thinking maybe you can find those at Barnes. Maybe. maybe. You might maybe. be. I was there the other day and I looked and I didn't see these, whatever, but they might have been there. I wasn't looking for them, so I didn't Amazon see them, but maybe. But Amazon. you can't go wrong with Amazon. I got them for pretty cheap. I don't really buy paper covers anymore, but I wanted to just read it to see if I yeah, liked it. See it. And, uh, and I did. And I think there is a bigger hard cover collected volume or whatever but okay. sex criminals matt fraction he also matt did fraction some, is a great writer he's yeah. a great comic book writer he did big stuff on uh, i enjoy Marvel. his thor run yeah. uh the mighty thor it was a great comic book run. he had a fantastic four run also mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. kind of revamped them a little that's bit right. so yeah. you yeah. know but this is the book that pretty much broke him i think and that's okay. what got him recognition by, okay. by a place like marvel so 
Um, yeah, that's one that I like. Uh, Double A, give me, give me your next one. Uh, you know, kind of like a favorite of a lot of people. But man, how about a Nightmare Before Christmas? I mean, yeah, that's weird. I people mean, call it a Halloween movie. People call it a Christmas. Well, not movie. just that, but, but I mean, the main relationship—it's a skeleton uh, and a woman that's made of woman parts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's sewn Stuff together. With leaves. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's creepy and weird and unconventional. And yeah, they fall in love. <laughs> and how about that? The whole time Jack is obsessed with he's he's not obsessed, but he's he's down he's on Halloween. For more, yeah, he's searching he's for more, for something more. Yeah, and Which Sally, a lot of people, yeah, you know, and she's looking for a purpose, mm -hmm. you know, and they come together, you know, in a very beautiful way. I love the beautiful music in that movie. I can watch that movie any time of year, but it's especially great. Uh, at Halloween or Christmas, you know, so it's like it gets kind of pegged in there, but it definitely is a love story. It is. Um, and it's like I said, it's very, very unconventional. <laughs> yeah. In the uh, Blink-182 song, I think, Where Are You? There's a good line where he says, Tom DeLonge, I think, says, uh, you can live like Jack and Sally if you want. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's kind of like, yeah, that's true. They're, they were a cute couple. And I've heard that there's, I think there's an audio version, like on one of the CDs of the music where it talks a little bit about the, the epilogue, like what happens ah, between Jack and I okay. think that they said okay. that they have kids. Oh, so I was like, Oh, that's, that's really weird. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> very weird. What kind of, what do those kids look like? I want to see that. Like they never, we never got Especially anymore. Since you said she's stuffed with leaves. Right. Yeah. Remember when she falls off the thing, <laughs> yeah, she breaks the phone. Right. She yeah, has yeah, to yeah. sew herself up. Yeah. Uh, I love Sally. I think she's like, but so awesome. <laughs> so like, uh, a, a beautiful character and like just <laughs> filled with, uh, Really love for Jack or whatever, which he doesn't a really recognize. Love. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, well, he's focused on other things. You know? Right, Christmas and yeah. Halloween and not being the Pumpkin King anymore and then realizing he loves Halloween and it's got the boogeyman. And so, yeah. Ooh, oogie, it, woogie. Oogie, oogie boogie. Oogie yeah. boogie. Oogie yeah. boogie. So oogie you boogie. definitely get get that um, love story is definitely wrapped yeah, in tonight for Christmas. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love yeah. it. I love it. That's a great, great pull. Great pull. I'm going to go into, um, should we save one for last? It's up to you. Uh, you know what? Let's go. We'll do it now. Okay. So this is one, this one. that uh, I love. I wanted to show to my girlfriend. Love when we've started love it, dating. It. I don't think she had seen it. And it is probably, I would say, one of the most unconventional love stories because mm -hmm. of the things that happen in it. And, and uh, you know, but um, truly badass, written by... Our favorite, probably our favorite, you know, screenwriter, screenwriter and maybe even director, director for you. Eh, no, not for no. you, right? I was gonna say, but for me, my favorite director, Quentin Tarantino's True Romance, but directed by uh, Tony Scott. Tony Scott, yeah, Tony Scott, who I believe directed it with uh, Tarantino, everything in mind. Or whatever. Yeah. I have yeah. that box set, the 20 year Tarantino one, and yeah. it's in there, even though it's not, his, yeah movie per se and i'm glad he changed his ending because yeah yeah i felt the same way like tony did yeah, yeah. and it i think that's such a, a tribute to how much of the hallmarks mm -hmm. it has of being a tarantino movie is that they put it in his box set, yeah. um for his 20 years it is the dialogue's there oh yeah the the working the in a comic book store. Is there. yeah yeah the, the comic book yeah all that so stuff is there here guys you get the story of clarence in alabama uh worley they end up being clarence in alabama worley they clarence, get married worley uh clarence <laughs> is just a guy working in a comic book store which we can both uh oh, think is awesome yeah. uh the way that tarantino also worked in a comic book store and then um you know he goes out for his annual birthday movie he goes to watch yeah. some uh sunny chiba sunny chiba movie yeah <laughs> some uh some movies there and a beautiful beautiful patricia arquette walks in extremely hot in this movie yeah uh sits down right next to him to which he's like what's going on and <laughs> she asks you know can you fill me in on what i missed and climbs over the seat to sit with them spills popcorn all over him they proceed to have a lovely evening together mm -hmm. uh that ends in sex which is clarence is probably thinking fuck this is like the best birthday ever watching chop sake flicks by myself and then a uh, hot ass chick way hotter than i could ever get I comes in. I, I love the line where he's like you know, you don't know how relieved I was when you took off your dress and you didn't have a dick. Yeah. <laughs> so Al that line. 
Alabama reveals to him after their night of love making that she is a prostitute bought by his boss so yeah. that he could have a great ass birthday. I'm like, yeah, his Man. boss is like really likes him. You know, he's really cool, and he was like, you know what? I want the I want this guy to get laid. You yeah. Know? So what yeah. a premier boss. Clarence is a little weird. He's a little bit of a weird guy, played by Christian Slater. Uh, I don't know if he's weird. I mean, he's just yeah. like just a comic book guy. Yeah, I mean, he likes comic <laughs> He likes kung fu movies. You know, I'm, I'm sure that's Tarantino. We relate. I'm sure to that's Tarantino. Yeah, I think you, you might know? be right. I think you might be yeah. right. I mean, he wasn't bothering anyone. He wasn't like looking for love. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I think that you can definitely watch this movie with your significant other on Valentine's Day. Truly enjoy it. I can't tell you right it now is. what streamers it really is on. Is. Yeah, um, it's but a good an amazing cast: Dennis Hopper, Christopher, Christopher Walken, Walken, James Gandolfini, Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman, uh, uh, briefly Samuel L. Jackson, but. Uh, Tom Sizemore, yeah. uh, Chris Penn. Chris Penn. Uh, yeah. Guys, it's a tour day force when yeah. people say Brad that. Pitt. Uh, Brad Pitt. Brad yeah. Pitt. It's so fun. Branson Pinchot, for if you like Stranger, yeah. if you That's like right. just, yeah, yeah. Uh, Perfect Strangers. Yeah. Uh, it is just go, go, go. Uh, what's our other boy? Michael Rappaport's in yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, it's so fun. It's like 1993, I think. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. It's so a crazy of a love story. A little bit of Bonnie and Clyde. A little Honestly, bit of. Honestly, I think. Preacher got a lot of that stuff. I think Garth Ennis. Val got Kilmer. A lot I forgot about Val Kilmer. Yeah, also. The Elvis. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys read Preacher, I mean, the Alabama looks like Tulip. Tulip, big you know, time. Yeah. Um, the him seeing John Wayne, him seeing Elvis. Right. You know the preacher, like he's like Jesse. Yeah. A lot, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, shit. You can even. If you're going to talk about unconventional love stories, you can throw Preacher right yeah, in there alongside too. this. Yeah. It is essentially yeah. a love story. You know what yeah. I mean? For all the action and all the yeah. F-bombs and sex and fucking, yeah. you know, stuff that happens in Preacher, the craziness of it. You know what I mean? This uh, Hunt for God story is essentially about, you know, Jesse Custer and Tulip O'Hare's and, and since their love story. Yeah. Uh, which is, You even you know, said that that was like your fantasy casting for Tulip was yeah. uh, Patricia Arquette. From yeah, true romance from that time, yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Which um, would have been perfect, perfect yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. But guys, it has everything, man. Laughs, Tarantino yeah. type dialogue. Yeah. It might be one that you're like, "What? I've seen all Tarantino's. I've never seen that one." Uh, and know, it's kind of because it's not kind of like considered a Tarantino movie. But I mean, if you see this movie, you 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 know right away this is yeah, this is Tarantino. You know, yeah. So, James Gandolfini is great. Oh, him, my gosh. him, and Patricia Arquette. Throw it down in a badass hotel fight. They get really rough. They get physical. That is one of the best fight scenes I've seen. Yeah, <laughs> in a movie. <laughs> hey, Double, what about just the tension in that scene? Oh, man. Didn't, didn't you feel like he it's was scary gonna... because Gandolfini is just so fucking big. He's a big fucking guy. And man. Patricia Arquette's just like this little woman, you know. Yeah, and, I've and been the watching way the he Sopranos. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He beats her up bad. And how about it just felt like, I mean, you know, like it's just one of these scenes where it feels like like rape is coming. Like you're like, oh, gosh, I hope I hope it's not going to fucking rape her. Like you're just like, oh, like, holy and he's shit. not. Uh, and he does it. But he's just out there just to beat her. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're looking for some dope. And I mean, pretty yeah. much he's like, I'm going to get it, you know, one way or the other, the hard way or yeah. whatever. But uh, definitely a precursor to Tony Soprano. I'm currently, after our mob episode, watching my way through The Sopranos now, now on season four. And man, just loving it. What a great yeah. ass fucking show. But I mean, kind of a two for one there, guys. True romance. And if you want to read a really off the wall love story, Preacher, Preacher. Uh, my favorite all time comic book yeah. uh, and story. But um, we love True Romance, man. We Fucking love it. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic movie. You can kind of get a quick. And I saw this movie it. again based on uh, CM's recommendation, and I fell in love with it. Yeah, you know, right away. Yeah, right I, away. I knew that it was right up your alley, man. There's nothing not to love. My sister oh, loves shot. this movie. Yeah, look at that shot. That yeah. sells it all right there. Uh, yeah. Guys, every year in uh, LA and Los Angeles, they have True Romance Fest. They do. Yeah. Uh, I would love yeah. to go. The hotel that they yeah. spend time at, where Gandolfini and and. Uh, and Patricia Arquette fight, like Double A said, uh, you can stay at that hotel. I think it's called like the Safari Inn or something like that. So uh, very cool. Sometimes, like they say, Bronson Pinchot will go. I think they've had like, oh, wow. a lot before. Okay. Yeah, okay. so it's pretty cool. They screen the movie. Yeah, um, and again, if, you know, me and me and my wife always throw out celebrities. We're like, you know, if, if he ever came here, what would you do? Or she, and for Christian Slater, I was like, if I ever got to meet Christian Slater, it'd be true romance. Uh, nice. Uh, right up. But she may say Heather's. Again, Oof. we'd be fucking divided yeah. like hell, but it'd be like, no. It's You're going to have to buy those two autographs on that yeah. one, Double A. Which know. I have many a times. <laughs> 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 Which I fucking have. 
Oh yeah, we know that we know that pain of that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You think you're on target and then they throw a curveball in here. Like what? Off. A little bit off there. <laughs> uh, that movie. <laughs> double A, give me your next one. What's your next unconventional uh, love story? You know, we've talked about these during our October sweeps with uh, the horror month, but I mean Bram Stoker's Dracula for Francis Ford Coppola. Pretty classic love story. Uh reincarnation, you know him finding her again mm -hmm. uh just doing whatever it takes to take her away yeah. from uh keanu reeves you know jonathan harker i mean it's a weird love story a centuries old vampire that you know he lost his loved one when he was fighting for the church and he sees her again he can't believe it mm -hmm. he's like wow she's right there right again right. you know centuries later and he's like he's gonna do everything he can to go to her and to make her fall in love with him again, which he does. Yeah. Uh, she falls in love with him. And it's just, it's weird though. <laughs> uh, just cause he's, again, he's a century old vampire. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For you sure. Know? And he's using, he's got Harker trapped in his castle. Oh, and he's yeah. kind of driving him nuts. Yeah, with and, like his three mistresses, you know? Yeah. What is the, the original poster actually says something on there like that. Doesn't it say like true love never yes, dies? I yes, believe is what yeah. it says. So you're like, well, yeah. Dracula is a love story. You're like, yes. And it's weird to look at it. Cause like I said, while he's over here courting Mina, a married woman, mind you, uh, he's got Jonathan back there getting his blood sucked by those right. three vampires. Right. You know, just, right. He's being weaker and weaker the whole time while her, his and Mina's love is growing and growing, you know, and to the very end. I mean, she's like pretty much like his. Yeah. <laughs> all the way yeah. to the end. She almost, does pretty much you know? go all the way over. But yeah, a lot of people really wouldn't see that as a love movie. But yeah, that's a pretty big love story. Huge. Uh, that's Bram like the Stoker's, main kind of yeah. hinging factor yeah. on, on that movie. So yeah. guys, if you're if, if you're like me, well, you know. I really won't even say that. Are you are you into romance movies? Double A. Do you like rom coms? Is it something you can get into? Yeah, when I when I have it with my wife. Yeah. Uh, if you sure. asked me before when I was single, probably no. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, I don't think I own any romantic comedies. I don't really like like ten things. I, well, ten things I hate about you is okay. I've seen it. I've seen she's all that. I've seen. I've, I've seen, seen a lot see of that stuff. all those movies until I saw my wife. Not me. Yeah. I'm. I like old movies. So mm -hmm. if you told me Casablanca, then yeah, I would have told you, yeah, I've seen Casablanca. And it's a classic um, too. So you know, you know, Gone with the Wind. Yes, I've seen Gone with the Wind. I've not seen Gone with the Wind. You know, um, all those old movies like with Gary Cooper or with mm -hmm. Cary Grant. Yes, I've seen them. Yeah. You know, they're classic romantic movies, classic movies. I like to see classic movies. Uh, so yeah, but if, if you were to ask me, yeah, 10 things I hate about you. No, I didn't see that until I got with my wife. Right. She's all that. No, I didn't see that. So yeah. I got with my What's wife. What's the other one? How to lose a guy in 10 days. How to lose a guy. I remember watching it. You I was know, like, oh, it's driving me nuts. I like... never saw the Freddie Prince movies. I never saw the Jennifer Love Hewitt movies. You know, I never saw, you know, who else, whoever else was like the big. Right. Uh, I think Matthew McConaughey made like a shitload of. Love movies before he became like uh, really into yeah. the drama movies. Yeah, he really you know? kind of uh, kind of made his bones there. In yeah, the romantic for a while he was movies. just like romantic yeah. movies. I didn't even I didn't even watch the classics Double A until I got with my girlfriend, and I had other girlfriends, but I mean, like she was the one that was like, "Oh, you got to watch uh, what's the Molly Ringwald." Joints. Oh, the the John Hughes yes, movies. The John Hughes ones. The yeah. Breakfast I, Club, Sixteen yeah. Candles, Pretty and Pink. And I know those are considered like classics. And those are those movies, are good movies. But yes. they were like eighties movies that I didn't watch. Those eighties yeah. movies. I'm watching these eighties movies. I didn't see those either until I got with my wife. Yeah. You know. So and, was, and I can appreciate them, but like I said, I'm not running out to buy them. No. I often talk about rewatchability. If she's watching them, I might look at it with her. But I'm probably like doing yeah. something else. I'm like maybe reading a comic book, or I'm on my phone and I not really watch it because it's not something that I'm like I don't get in the mood. For the actors are comedy. good in those movies, though. I mean, he's got like Emilio Estevez, uh, he's got like yeah. uh, Judd Nelson and yeah. Anthony Michael Hall, and she's great. I love Molly Ringwald, Rob Lowe. Um, you know, he's in those movies too. You know, so she had me watch the one that I really like it, and it has uh, you're gonna know it. I'm, I'm fucking up because I don't know the name, but the one with Molly Ringwald, uh, and her friend is Janine from Ghostbusters, yeah, pretty in pink, pretty in pink, yeah. Yes. And I was like, yes. oh, this is pretty James solid. Spader yeah, is James, a big James fucking is a asshole huge asshole in that movie. <laughs> Yes. I was like, oh, this is a you're gonna become the old the older you becomes the guy from Wolf for sure. Because you're both Spader, assholes. If you wanted an asshole in the 80s, that guy was the perfect asshole from yeah. uh, 
from pretty and pink, pink to uh less than zero yeah if you man less than zero is a hard movie to watch <laughs> i need to watch i haven't seen that <laughs> no, that's a really that. hard movie to yeah. watch uh, <laughs> and i and i you know i remember watching it and being like i didn't even like the guy blaine or whatever yeah, or i was Spader. like uh, uh, no no okay the other guy the guy she watched, yeah no i like oh, him. Uh, blaine. I i'm sorry andrew mccarthy, andrew McCarthy. Yeah, yeah i was like this guy fucking sucks too. I was like, man, fuck this guy. I was like, the one I only liked or related to was the Ducky guy. Oh, I was like, man, man, I hate this Ducky. guy gets screwed. I hate Ducky. <laughs> I do not like the Ducky character. I'm sorry. I mean, that's... I did like Dice Man though. Dice was okay. awesome. Yeah, you yeah, remember? The, yeah, the Dice that yeah. was in it. That was pretty great. You know, the 180s one I did watch, and I kind of talked about this a little bit with Friday Night at Roxanne. But I'm going to save it okay. for when we come okay. back, guys. Uh, again, if you're listening to us on audio, Don't says, go away. It's, it's not even going to feel like a second on the audio because we're just going to go and come right back. And if you're with us live on Facebook uh, right now, uh, we're not going anywhere. I see a lot of comments came in. I'm about to read through all of them. We appreciate you keep sending them in. And let's take a listen. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us here on Facebook Live. Let's scroll up and read through these comments. Yeah, go uh, I got to go up go quite more, a bit more. here. Well, I appreciate all you guys uh, uh, coming in and, and dropping uh, these comments. About, uh, Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, oh, we got a bunch of oh, uh, new people showed up too. Awesome. Okay, awesome. right there. Okay, here we go. Was. Here we go. Uh, so let's see. Oh, we, uh, let me move down, it down. down. Move it down. Move it down. Move it down. Sorry, guys. Uh, John, that was a really sweet comment about your sister, man. Really yeah, that was awesome. awesome. Bear. Really yeah. admire that, man. Uh, Aaron again says that was during the tent party with the Dama Dominatrix. Very uh, nice. Yeah, we got to have you tell that story <laughs> here on the, on the air. He says Roxy loves those horror movies. Yeah, she sure does. If you saw her October Facebook postings, yeah, huge horror fan. Steve says like your wall. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. Jason from Hondo, welcome back, Jason. Yeah, what up, Jason? Welcome back, man. Oh, look at Joe. Uh, hey, guys, I got married to 1304 at midnight at Courthouse. It was awesome. Ice fell. Man, congratulations, wow. Joe. Right on, Joe. So Man, you're about if we to your anniversary. To, yeah, if we don't get to say, uh, say it to you, happy anniversary to you. Happy okay? anniversary, Friday Nighter yeah. Joe and yeah. his wife. Very cool. Yeah, who yeah. I found out that I went to middle school with briefly, oh. apparently, at Rogers. Okay, yeah, okay. So. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roxy says it's cheesy. Double I think she's a. talking about that Valentine movie that I'm gonna watch. Ah, uh, okay, time. okay, cool. All yeah, right, I like cheesy horror, you know. Yeah, yeah, hey, nothing wrong with that. And Joe going on 17, 17 years. years, man, that's nice. awesome, Joe. You don't nice. hear about that a lot anymore these days, so very rad. Uh, Aaron, I think he was referring to our last week's episode, GI Joe, GI Joe Drools. Yeah, very cool. Go ahead, double A. Richard says, Last Friday night was my first show watching, and it was great. I really enjoyed it. All yes. right, Richard. That is the biggest compliment, Rich. Yep. Man, thank you. I yep. hope you're still hanging out with us right now. Uh, uh, Steve, I hope you saw. Uh, I am drinking Dos Equis. That is my beer of choice. That's his <laughs> kind of go to. And uh, I didn't bring any drinking Dos Equis with double A, which is no <laughs> regular one. We didn't get any of the cool nah, lime and nah. salt one. Uh, Aaron says Winnie was a tease. She yeah. was a big tease. We talked about the and Wonder she, Years. Yeah, like I don't know if we ever got to see like the finale, but uh, like she pretty much like goes gets a summer job and she ends up like fucking around with some other dude. Oh, I'm like, geez, God, come what, on, what a bitch! Yeah, what I do is that's a lot. Is that the the last episode? It's like the second to last. Episode. Okay, because what I remember is that she says you hear Kevin say in the end, where the narrator says, uh, um. I promised to meet her when she got back from France. I met her with my wife and yeah, kids. I mean, so I'm like, if you, if you, all this time, no, like, but see him. If you rewatch the show, that relationship just sucks. It sucks. Big Kevin gosh. Arnold in a toxic relationship before toxic relationships yeah, were toxic. That was bad. Uh, let's see who else here in the comments. Guys. Steve says, "Love at first bite." Is that the Jim Carrey one? Is that the Jim Carrey one? Steve, let us Where know. Where he thinks he's is. like a vampire. He thinks he's a vampire. Yeah, I think you're right. Is that right? right? Okay. Yeah. Crystal in the Crystal. house. Hi guys. Hi Crystal. Cheers. Cheersies. Oh, I give, I forget you're putting up the damn cup. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her the other one. Oh, nice. So, Good. Yeah. So she has a uh, one down. <laughs> yeah. She has a Dallas cup. So hopefully you raise up your glass, Crystal. There you go, Crystal. There you go. Raise it on up. Joe also says, uh, I like going back watching old wrestling Valentine's shows. Hmm. Do you remember the same Valentine's Day Massacre CM with Stone Cold Stone and Vince Cody. McMahon in the steel cage? And Big finally, Show yeah, premieres. But, but he finally gets his hands on McMahon and he does that ugly bump. Remember? Yeah. Where Stone Cold bounces his head on the, on the And thing. then McMahon just like, 
<laughs> like flies to the table. I was like, yes, yeah, I definitely yeah. remember that. And then I remember Michael Cole, that's Paul White. And yeah. I was like, why yeah. are they calling him that? Yeah. I was like, that's the giant. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was very cool. Yeah. You know, Joe, I almost considered this. I almost considered slicking back the hair and getting like some red grease paint and doing brother oh, love. Shit. Brother but, love. But uh, you know, I need to, I, I have, love you. I don't have the white tie <laughs> and uh the white jacket. So I got a cream colored jacket, it might have worked in the lighting, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So no, no brother love for me. And I'll say that for another show. <laughs> uh let's see. Uh Aaron says Marla was dirty. I secretly liked that. Okay. I'm I sure. think it's no longer a secret yeah. anymore, Aaron. But yeah, Marla Tyler liked it too. Yeah, yeah. Uh Helena Bonham Carter, very great yeah, in that yeah. movie. Richard says what well, what about watching a movie that was released on Valentine's Day, Silence of the Lambs? I did not know that. I did not know that either. Wow. But Rich, I love that. And, and I was just saw that one two days ago. Clarice. I just saw that one. Oh, and then Clarice. You I watched, saw that one yesterday. Yeah, that premiered. And I saw it's gonna uh, replay on the 13th. Is it okay? Yeah, so I'm gonna okay. record it. It's episode one and two, right? Uh just one. Oh, really? I think they're gonna it's gonna do gonna be two that I saw. We're gonna I only play. saw one. So. Maybe not. I'm gonna be recording, I'm gonna be checking it out on CBS. The Clarice show. Uh was there. Really? Yeah. Nice. Abraham. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I love uh uh, uh Abe from uh yeah. from uh yeah. Walking yeah. Dead. So very cool. Uh yeah, Rich, totally that totally counts, oh, man. Nice. And how about this? Nice. I'll take you this. If you read the books, it's a little bit of a love story in yeah. there too. Yeah. Definitely yeah. a little bit of a love story there. Yeah. Uh, Hannibal and Clarice, maybe. I don't That's know. Weird. I'll let yeah. you guys read it. That's it's awesome super great. Uh let's see. Uh Aaron says uh, I, I hear the voices in my head too, like Randy Orton. Or the voices, that the yeah. voices that yeah. uh, that um, Will Ferrell hears in Stranger Than Fiction. <laughs> Very cool, Aaron. You got to watch that movie. Rich says, "My ex and I were into mafia movies, Ooh. so that's what we would watch." Okay. Hey, there's oftentimes wow. a lot of a that's lot a of uh, cool relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry, it didn't work out, Richard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, Godfather, you got Michael oh, and Kay right. in uh, Goodfellas. Michael and Apollonia. <laughs> yeah, Michael, in, in Goodfellas, you've got Henry and uh, and uh, shit, I forget her name, his wife in that one. But uh, Lorraine Bracco again. So no, mafia movies definitely have an aspect of love stories. Uh, uh, it doesn't always. I think uh, stay low. There's yeah, always, it doesn't always end uh, well. There's always a lot of drifting, but yeah. So for sure, uh, Aaron B says American Beauty. Yes, totally. We've talked about American Beauty. That's before. very unconventional, I guess you can say. Yeah, uh, very. Almost it sets about maybe the end of a relationship in a ways, and yeah. you know uh, yeah. the beginning of the daughter's relationship with the yeah. young man, and then. Yeah. The kind of lusting after the friend, the friend and yeah. then the wife having an affair. And, and even so, like uh, Chris Cooper with Kevin Spacey. Yeah, you know? yeah. Or how about the end after he's found dead and she goes to his closet and she yeah. hugs Lester's closet. Yeah. Annette Benning, man. Yeah. That yeah. that scene right there for me, yeah. when, when she's hugging the clothes and she's crying, yeah. it's like it's like she still did love him, but it was just so fucked yeah. up. So yeah. great call, Aaron. I like that one a lot. Uh, Foxy Roxy says, Rocky, it's such a great love yep. story. Yeah, totally. Yes, I is. definitely would say unconventional, though, in my opinion. Uh, Rich says, uh, Rocky, you're awesome movies to watch. How do y'all feel about the we Creed We love movies? the Creed movies. Love, love Creed. Them. Love. I want a third one. Yeah. And they can roll it on out. Yeah. If they can, if they can, if the Rocky character dies in that one, a la Mick. Wow, how poetic. I mean, yeah. I think they can do it right. Bring back uh, uh, Ryan Coogler. I mean, I would say yeah. that. I mean, but the guy that did Creed 2 was great, too. It was I like Creed 2. Really, really wonderful. I didn't, at the end, I didn't know who to go for, uh, Drago or Creed. Yeah, how about I that? I was like, wow. About that turn or whatever. But I, I yeah. love that movie. I movies. felt so bad about Drago. Yeah, that was you pretty, know, pretty especially awful. Especially when Bridget Nielsen, like, just gets up oh, at least. I know. And you just see, like, the defeat in his eyes, like, yeah, like fuck. Yeah. You know? How about Stallone getting to be like, Bitch, you know? yeah. 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 So let's see here. Um, yeah, Rich definitely loved the Creed movies. Uh, uh Aaron, Aaron says, says Drive, Drive was, was I've story. never seen Drive. Is that the I think that's a Nicholas Cage one with Angelina Jolie, isn't it? No, no, you're thinking yeah. of Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay, is that Drive is Ryan, Ryan Gosling? Gosling yeah. Okay. Okay. And through my friend Marta, I ended up because she's a huge fan of Ryan Gosling. She loves <laughs> my God. She got it me to watch it. a lot of Ryan Gosling movies I'd never seen before, which uh, were uh, mainly pretty good. But there's some romantic comedies in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, or he's what, got, obviously you know. he's got the Notebook. That's probably the most. I have not seen that one. That's probably the most iconic yeah. one. Uh, he's got um, Stupid Crazy Love or Crazy That's the, Stupid Love with Crazy the, Stupid uh, Love. Steve Carell. Steve Carell. That, which, I watched that, that was one. a good movie. That, that's I a good that movie. One. Yeah, it's definitely you know. I guess a love story as well. I like it. Yeah. I like the movie. It was good. So that definitely good. I forget. I can't remember exactly what else. I think I watched the other one. Something about in the woods. Something in the woods. 
I watched that one or whatever. She got me to watch a bunch of Ryan Gosling. I was like, yeah, this guy's not bad. He's a really good actor. Yeah, he is. Yeah. 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 It's really good. Uh, Jess says, hey, guys. Hey, babe. I wish you I happy guess. Valentine's Day earlier. I don't know if you're still watching, but I wish you happy Valentine's <laughs> Day again because I can do that. So, <laughs> uh, Foxy Rock says, I love Gary Oldman in True Romance. He was good in Fantastic. that movie for that little bit. He was in there. I mean, when is he ever not good? But he was totally good um, in uh, in that as uh, Drexel. And true romance. What's a Drexel? What's a Drexel? <laughs> Go back. Uh, uh, let me see. I move. I, I move the things around here, guys. The comments. So I'm trying to get back to where I was. Uh, okay, right there. Okay. Uh, Sopranos was and still is an amazing show. Can't wait. I can't wait for the prequel either with his son. So especially now, Rich, I'm 100 percent because I'm like totally invested in Sopranos. <laughs> I'll probably be done uh, before this month is out. I, I would imagine because I'm. Roxanne says, it. why don't I like Ducky? Because Ducky was a whiny bitch. I do not like him. Wow. I think Blaine was way perfect, and I'm glad when James Spader whipped his ass. Okay, but there's a lot going on there, Double A, with you in that movie. Man, I just don't like drunk car choir too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yvette says, Robert Downey, yes, he was in Less Than Zero, and he is – that's not what – if you saw him in Less Than Zero, you would be like, wow, that's Iron Man. Uh, it's a brutal movie. It's hard to watch. <laughs> that movie is really hard to watch. So, uh, you have to be in okay. a mood to okay. watch it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm because you guys have really said nothing. I'm curious to watch it because uh, it's just, it's really. I don't want to. I mean, okay. Hey, <laughs> say no more. Say no more. You've got me hooked without knowing anything. I like it's, that. It's, it's from the writer. Who, who's the writer that wrote American Psycho? Uh, Brett no, Easton Ellis. So he wrote, wrote the less than zero. Okay, oh, that's okay. where it's from. Ooh, so. shit. That book's yeah. a hard read, too. Yeah, so. Roxanne says, James Spader and Robert Downey were in a movie called Tough Turf. It was amazingly bad. Loved it. <laughs> yeah, they did a lot of movies together. Him and James Spader are, like, super tight. Really? I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't yeah. know that about them. Well, even Age of Ultra. You know? <laughs> you know, so they had, like, a reunion there. Man, that's awesome to think about now. Uh, sir, sir, I saw that. I oh, okay. And the Dos Equis? Maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Maybe that's what we're talking one about. One spinning is the Jim Carrey one. Okay, oh, thanks. So now it makes me wonder what. Oh, look, and then anybody says, "I thought that was one spinning." Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm. I'm. We might be lost, and I have to figure out which one was which. Uh, Joe says one spinning was awesome. Joe says one was <laughs> I need to see that. One. Brother loves podcasts. Is my favorite wrestling. Uh, Joe, if you uh love wrestling you should check out jim cornett's jim cornett's is fucking funny as hell i think he would like it his some of the same thoughts you have jim cornett has <laughs> brother love love has a podcast what the fuck yeah okay. there's Everyone's, richards yeah. yeah truly everyone has yeah. one roxanne love at first bite was with george hamilton ah, okay okay there we go thank you Rox. thank you, you. that's the one that steve was referring to yvette the one with jim carrey Okay, that's when what's been uh Joe says that won her Oscar then then Benny won the Oscar. I guess she did. I guess she okay. did. Okay. She I don't remember her anymore. She's, I don't her, her performance really stands yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I just does. watched I just it. don't remember her winning. I, I know it's yeah. Kevin Spacey. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. We'll have to cool. Check, check. I don't doubt you, Joe. I think that you might be right. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, I Steve's uh, comment. So will Hannibal eat Clarice <laughs> 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 with the shades on? Uh <laughs> You know what? This the books are really different, Stephen. They're really interesting. So yeah, I I like how it just tiptoes around it in the movies. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, the, the Hannibal show is also very very excellent. Yeah, you're always uh, raving Steve, about that. Yeah, it, it does not have uh, the Clarice character. No, but you know what? I prefer the Will Graham character over Clarice. So. I love the Will Graham character. Uh, then you will love the Hannibal yeah. show because he's and the see, primary. I liked William Peterson and yeah. Manhunter more than I did Edward Norton. And right, oh, right, interesting. Okay. I like the Manhunter one better. Very okay, very yeah. interesting points on yeah. that. We guys could we could do a whole show on Hannibal, guys. Let me tell you guys, I love Roxanne that. Roxanne says, character. I hate the notebook. <laughs> you know what? It's a good story, and it's funny because if you look at it this way, so they said Ryan Gosling and uh Rachel McAdams they hated each other when they reunite, they hated each other like for real in real life. Oh, really? Yes, mm -hmm. they did not get along. Um, but then when you watch it, like from the beginning, that beginning part, that's where they fell in love with each other for real. But when you watch like the, the reunion part, that's the part where they hated each other. So it's kind of funny that, you know, the acting kind of like, you don't even realize they hate each other in like that later part. 
Yeah, for real. Like behind the scenes. So they dated. You know? uh, they did life. date for like about two years. Wow, I yeah. did not know yeah, that. Yeah, but they he could not stand her at first, and he almost got her recast. Wow. Yeah. How interesting. Yeah. She's yeah. gorgeous. She is, but it, there was something about it that they just didn't like. But then they ended up falling in love. During wow. That movie, so that's, how cool! Then it's kind of its yeah. own love story. That's yeah. makes me want. I would watch it based on that. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Aaron B says, "Double A, watch okay. Drive." I will. Okay, I'll check it out too because I haven't seen that one yet either. I don't think. <laughs> Steve agrees with me. Yeah. Yes, Ducky was Ducky a was whiny a bitch. bitch. I, yes, I like was. Ducky. I related to it. He, he fucking just, sucked. Jesus, man, guys, Ducky and no love in here. Oh, Joe geez. says, "You seen it, Joe? Shit. Bro, the scene listener when he Oof. catches him in the room. Yeah. Damn. Okay, yeah. I don't know. All right, gosh, dang, y'all yeah. are making me curious. Somebody give me a streamer it's for less a than zero. Brutal fucking movie, man. It's just uh, brutal. Joe says, uh, "Jimmy stuff is good, but he gets a little uh, odd at times. Old at times, but he's oh, good, good for, for that cornet. Oh, Corn okay. oh, corny." Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, Double well, H played some good. I like the wrestling me. stories that he sells. Yeah. Tells, so I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, Aaron B says, "I uh, do want to see that." Let him go. With let Kevin him go. Kevin Costner. Costner. I do okay. want to see. What's that, that streaming on, Aaron B? Give us a give us a, a streamer for that. Uh, Rich says that's a really good movie. Are you talking about the Kevin Costner one? Uh, um, Richard, Rich, let us know. Uh, let's see. Joe says, "Rich make Adams and Elizabeth Banks look Elizabeth alike." Banks. Uh, um, Elizabeth Banks. I don't know if I see it. You know, Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I, I see it. Know. I don't know if I see it. But they're both beautiful. I mean, you know. So. And then Roxanne uh, says, "I really don't care for Rachel McAdams." Yeah, my sister hates. Um, I like her. What's the? I like her. Doctor Strange. I love from uh, Anne, ha Anne Hathaway. My sister. Oh, has that's right. Yeah. A real hard on for hating Anne Hathaway. I don't know why. Because we also both agree that Kirsten Dunst isn't beautiful. So when my sister hates Anne Hathaway, I'm like, no, she's very beautiful. <laughs> Kirsten Dunst, I agree with you, is not beautiful, but yeah. she's not ugly. She's just not. I like Rachel McAdams in Doctor Strange. I like her in uh, Love her in that. The Time Traveler's Wife. If you like time travel movies, that's a pretty that good one. one. That has funny. Eric Bana. Uh, uh, she's in Mean Girls, right? Until she's that. a real bitch. In I that like one her in that one. Yeah, I, I saw like that one because good. of my daughter, and she's a real bitch in that movie. Yeah, that's so, a fun movie. I would have seen that without that. my daughter. So yeah, <laughs> and she's a bitch <laughs> in that movie. So really, really well deserved. All yeah. right, guys, we're gonna get to the last of these comments right before we go into another block. Uh, Joe says, says, "Oh yeah, yeah Joe ahead. says, uh, listen to Bruce Pritchard." Okay. Um, he says the Kevin Costner. Uh, Rich says, "Yeah, the Kevin Costner movie is really good." Um, Aaron says, "It's on Google Play, YouTube, YouTube and Voodoo." Uh, okay. Uh, that means I probably got to pay for it. Um, but, and Steve <laughs> says, great show tonight, guys. Right, Thanks, Steve. Steve. I hope you're not leaving us. But it, uh, if you are, we totally understand. We appreciate you being here for the time that you were. We're going to get right back into the recording part uh, for our audio listeners. They don't know they missed this big old block of us talking when we when we do this. And great stuff, guys. Man, thank you so much for all the yeah, comments. Yeah, please keep continue coming. to comment in. Yeah. yeah, please continue to comment in. We're going to do another 30 minutes okay. and we'll read them back. Uh, so you said you're going to... Or when we wrap it up. A debate, right? That you and Roxanne were having, right? I'll talk a little bit okay. about that. Sure, okay. sure. Okay. Guys, if you're listening to us on audio, uh, thanks for uh, sticking with us there. I know it didn't probably sound like but a blip, uh, but we do use that 30-minute block for the uh, audio to kind of process in the uh, Anchor app um, from our last 30 minutes of talking. And uh, during that time, we read comments because if you're joining us on Facebook Live, you can always join the conversation if you want to come on live any Friday night uh, when we're talking about this here. We just read a bunch of great comments um and you know everyone has so much to say about tonight's <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> podcast topic yeah. uh you know being uh unconventional love stories and in, in, in honor of valentine's day on love be a podcast tonight guys if you're not listening to us live uh, you can always go check out the full uh what you do miss uh check it out all the comments on our youtube channel we are in the race to get to 100 guys because if we get 100 subscribers then we can change our url to youtube.com slash jafn podcast or just another friday night um right now we can't do that because we only have 31 followers and youtube says you got to have 100 so um we have over 100 everywhere else yeah we have over 100 <laughs> everywhere else why don't some of you guys get on the youtube there and give us a little follow give us a little subscribe yeah, just go in there and just like subscribe yeah, just click that's it. it it's fun it's yeah. easy and you get to say that you're subscribed to something you know yeah. what i mean um to those of you that at the end of the comments said cheers cheers uh oh it's time to take a take a drink with the friday night faithful and all you friday nighters So, Double A, you brought up something right before we came out of the break, and you said that you wanted to hear about a little debate that I had. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, what was going on? So, uh, as always, me and you like to reach out to the Friday Night Faithful yep. sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh, our Friday Nighters, and ask them, well, you know, we're looking for a little bit of maybe uh, fuel to what we're moving towards mm -hmm. for the topic of that week. So, I reached yeah. out to one of our um, 
guests in previous shows on the werewolf episode, Friday Nighter Foxy Roxy. And I asked her, uh, give me some unconventional love stories. Okay. So we went back and forth. She had brought up Dracula, as you did. Okay. Uh, okay. Among some other great so ones. So we're on the same page on that one. Okay. Yeah. She brought up some other great ones. I, I wrote down in my notes, which I forgot, which I, I forget every Friday. <laughs> I write them on my notepad at work, and then I put them. In, I don't put them in my backpack, and then I, they stay there, and I'm like, ah, shit. No, no good. But anywho, she had a lot of great suggestions. Um and when I was, she asked me kind of what some of mine were, and I didn't tell her the topic of the show. I just told her, you know, like, give me, give me this unconventional love stories. Okay. So one of the first ones I said, because when I first thought of this topic with you, and the first thing that we both said, true romance, but then I had some come to my mind, and it was <clears throat> initially the first three of Kevin Smith's movies, which uh, are Clerks, mm -hmm. Mall Rats, okay. and uh, Chasing Amy. Chasing Amy, yes. Two out of the three are probably very, maybe very obvious, although they would probably be categorized as comedies. But the first one is the one that me and Roxanne went down the rabbit hole uh, on where my shirt is from, uh, which is uh, from the movie Clerks. And um, yeah, so I, I told Roxanne, you know, I think, you know, Clerks is is uh, is definitely um, a uh, love story. And she says, no, totally not a love story. You know what I mean? And we went back and forth. I, had, I thought it was a really great and interesting debate, mm -hmm. uh, you know, through text. I mean, I wish it yeah. was something that we yeah, could yeah. have filmed. You know what I mean? But I got my copy here. It what is it signed, by? signed by up here, Brian O'Halloran, nice. who plays Dante, Dante. Hicks, uh, pretty much the lead movie. Yep. And then here by Jay Muse, who is, oh, uh, Jay. Who is Jay. And Jay and Silent Bob is Jay. So yeah, this is my 10th year anniversary that is uh, signed by them. I love it very much. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Lots of cool stuff yeah. in here. Um, but let me tell you why I think that Clerks is a love story because Dante is a guy that doesn't know what he wants. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he put like this little comment. If you've seen this movie, he goes, I'm 37. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's funny. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry to break your... No, no, no. Totally. Totally. No, I love that's that. Great. That's great. It's a great line that's from the great. movie. Yeah. So... Um, Dante Hicks, the primary character, is a clerk working in a convenience store. And on his day off. On his day off. He gets called into work. He's kind of a, I don't know if you'd say he's a 20 something in this movie. Yeah, you know yes, I mean? he's yes, a, yes. He's a 20 something mm -hmm. jock in a register, and it's kind of like, you know, about the, his day, pretty much. And, yep. um, you know, throughout the course, his girlfriend comes to visit him, Veronica. Mm -hmm. uh, who, great girlfriend. Great girlfriend. Yeah. She brings him lasagna for yeah. lunch. Supports uh, him. Yeah, you she know. supports him. They changes his tire as they talk about, but he's only been dating her for seven months. At the same time, he's kind of finding out about his ex that he just fawns over like ridiculous. She cheated on him, but yeah. they dated for five years. Like she cheated on him repeatedly. Yeah, Kate <laughs> Caitlin. So pretty much Dante's a man out of sorts. I think he's unhappy in his life and in his yeah, work. And mm -hmm. you know, Veronica wants him to go back to school and like, you know, get direction yeah, or whatever. She does. And guys, yeah. this story is kind of I feel like this is why I think of it, you know, as unconventional because it's kind of woven in there here and there. Like that's moving Dante along through the day, but you're seeing like their life as a clerk and his buddy Randall that works in the video store next door. And you know, their, it, their, their banter is just hilarious. It talking is. about Star the Wars. Banter. Yeah. Uh, I've had many a conversation like that with, uh, with the Randall, you know? So. Yeah. It's great. How about yeah. the conversation about the customers? We've all yep. been there. Yep. We're talking about, oh my yeah. god, these fucking customers. I used me to nuts. work at Walmart, so I could really <laughs> relate there. You know, so. Yeah, and I've been at HEB and just about anywhere under the sun, literally, yeah. you know, jocking a register yeah. myself at times. So uh, it's just a really, really funny movie, really quirky, really well written, really well yeah. directed. Yeah. Um, but like I said, throughout the movie, to me, there is this vein of a love story of you know dante is with one girl who's good for him but doesn't really realize it and then he's pining after this other girl that is really bad for him but doesn't you know but he doesn't realize that and you know it's i feel like that's an unconventional love story to me because it doesn't uh it is more like how kind of life is sometimes, whatever, you know, you're thinking about the grass is always greener, maybe missing that X that was not necessarily good for you. Obviously this one was a toxic person or whatever, but you know, to me, a love story doesn't have to be about like guy and girl meet, fall in love and then end up happily ever after. Sometimes a love story is sad, like Romeo and Juliet, for instance. I mean, yeah. you know, oh, very. Um, yeah. And me and Roxanne called that into play in our, in our, uh, our, our debate, uh, which was very, um, 
Spirited. Spirited. <laughs> yes. And, uh, uh, you know, through text, spirited as you could be through text message. You know what I mean? But uh, Spirit, nonetheless, she's very passionate about her side. Uh, I think she is commenting. So I'll have to read those in our next break. But um, yeah, I mean, I said, damn, I almost forgot that Romeo's pretty much on the rebound when he meets Juliet. And I'm like, can you? They call this the greatest love story of all time, but the guy was just trying to get over his ex in a way, you know what I mean? Now you call it love at first sight, call it what you will. I mean, like, I don't think that would fly today because it'd be like, oh, this guy's just on the rebound. I mean, you're hurt. You know, what do they, sometimes some people say to get over one, you got to get under another one. Well, you know I mean, I mean if you do look at the Leo one though, mm -hmm. I mean, when he does see her, you know, it's, it's like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, he's like, whoa. <laughs> no, I, for sure. And, and and maybe so, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I just feel like, uh, you know, because of Dante's situation in Clerks, he's it's making him question everything else in his life, including his relationship. And because his shitty job at, you know, RST Quick Stop makes him fucking feel awful about himself. You know, it makes him be like, I have nothing else good in my life. There's nothing good in my life. He doesn't see the one good thing he has, which is Veronica, this great girl who brings him lasagna for lunch, um, you know, um, Roxanne, part of her debate was that Dante didn't love, she said, nobody loves anybody in that movie. She's like, the only one that loves someone is that Veronica loves Dante. And I'm like, well, the love, to me, the love doesn't have to go both ways in order for it to be a love story. I do think that Dante loved Veronica. I just think he didn't realize it. He realized it at the very end. When at the it was very too end, late. yeah. Now, I disagree with you, Roxanne. I do think it's a love story, but I don't really agree with you too much. Mm-hmm. And we kind of talked this about this. That's a great point. Yeah. I think it's a love story between Dante and Rando, and not like in a homosexual way, just like that really close bromance that we've all had as guys. We've all had that one dude. Mm -hmm. Rando is very protective of Dante. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's always trying to push Dante to speak out more, to act out more. Yeah. Uh, when Kate comes back, he pretty much threatens her, like if she hurts him again. You right. Know? That's right. She'll have to face it. You and know? all of our debate, our spirit of debate, that never got brought up. I didn't yeah. remember that. It's part. a very tight romance that Randall feels for Dante. He mm -hmm. loves Dante. That's his best friend. He's mm -hmm. only working there, I'm imagining, because fucking Dante is working there. Yeah. At the at the gas station while he works at the video store. You yeah. know, so <laughs> and I've been through the, I've been there too, where it's like you you just have like a one really good bro at work. And sometimes that could be enough to keep you at work. Yeah, because, I mean, look what happens when the place burns down in Clerks, too. Yeah. Uh, they both go to that fucking movies. 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 Yeah, yeah. event movies. And then they both have enough money where they buy yeah. the convenience store, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, he follows Dante, you yeah. know? Yeah, for sure. And it makes me think about, you know, I think about my buddy Jimmy. You know, we worked at the bank together yeah. for, like, you know, I worked there for 11 years and, and six of those years, we hung out pretty much every day, every breakfast, every lunch, every break. And you're talking and you're bullshitting and you become like brothers. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you, then you do spend a little bit of time together outside of work. And then you, that's fun. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's not work. And then. Uh, yeah, because like, oh, I had this really close friend and we're so close. But at Walmart, like and he had a girlfriend there, too. And she was like, sometimes he would call me. He was like. Hey, you guys like talk all day and now you're calling him, you know, you're supposed to be spending time with me. Yeah. Know? But we're, we were so fucking tight, you know, it was like, we wanted to talk to each other more. So sometimes women can get a little bit jealous of our bromances. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. And I remember, you know, when, when, uh, Jimmy left the bank, f no, I left the bank first. Okay. Uh, and then, and then Jimmy went and he ended up at, at, uh, another big company and the big bank here in town. And then I ended up there too. And we were working <laughs> in the same building for, it. and yeah. it was like, and it felt good because it kind of felt like we had broke up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, and then yeah. it felt good when we got back to working together. Cause I was like, Oh, like it's like the band's back together. Yeah. Like it yeah. feels good. You and know see, I, mean? and I think that's what it is too. I think like deep down, yeah, you have your Veronica and Kate, mm -hmm. but it's like it's always Dante and Rando when it That's comes very to the Clerks universe. Yeah, it's Dante and Rando. Yeah, and it's always. funny that you say that because. That's a theme that Kevin Smith explores later on more yep. in like with uh with um chasing Amy right? chasing Amy yeah. uh between uh uh shit I'm forgetting both their names right now but it'll come to it's me Ben Affleck and Jason Ben Affleck and, and uh, Lee Jason Lee yeah who are um uh, shit Banky. And uh, Holden, Banky and okay, Holden. Yeah, okay. so that's their characters in Chasing Amy. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, interesting perspective. I did not have that perspective that Double A had, but I mean, 
It does not match my love story narrative for it, but it still it's qualifies it as a love story. Yeah. An unconventional love story. So, like I said, maybe this is one for the singles out there that are like, fuck that. I don't want to watch a love story. You can watch <laughs> Clerks, an unconventional <laughs> love story, and maybe make you think about your best friend and the kind of yeah. relationship that you yeah. have. You know what I mean? Even if they are that's in a relationship. That's why they made the word romance. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and it's interesting, right? Because I don't think throughout the the universe of Kevin Smith with the, with the Randall character, mm -hmm. He, they never show with a love interest. No. So he's don't. always without it's the always love interest. He's Dante. always, yeah, he's got a buddy or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, up until when Dante in Clerks 2 is engaged and then that falls apart. We obviously yeah, and then he gets with Rosario. Yeah, yeah. Which, with huge win on that part. Oh, for sure. He ends up without either of the other two and you get fucking Rosario Dawson. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ahsoka, Ahsoka <laughs> Tano herself. <laughs> so uh, that takes us, I guess, well, definitely go. I want you to shoot one out here. No, no, go ahead. Go we'll ahead. Keep going. We're gonna no, keep no, going. Yeah, stay with the Kevin. We'll Smith go right one. next to the next Kevin Smith one that, that is, which I love. This one, uh, I love Marrats. This movie, guys, Kevin Smith's second outing. Um, you know, he pretty much has said, you know, I made Clerks so that I could make Marrats. He's like, I didn't have the budget okay. or the money or anything okay. to make Marrats, and so I thought the first show would maybe make a little bit of money, just enough for me to go into. It. Obviously, that was his huge, you know, darling success yeah. was Clerks. Yeah. You know, people adored it, and then they considered Marrats like a flop because it was like, well, it did flop. It didn't make any money. They got Shannon Doherty in it. Uh, after the that was her what she went to after the uh, Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so it was uh, it was like um, oh shit, you know what I mean? They thought she was going to go be in this this indie director darlings movie and be like whatever, and then it ended up being just pretty much like this raunchy comedy. Uh, <laughs> so you think again, really, really smart dialogue dialogue that's really written around mm -hmm. guys like ourselves that yeah. know comic books. It's got. Maybe would you say Stanley's first cameo? Would he? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I think I think he might have appeared in some of those seventies Hulk ones, maybe, maybe or whatever. Maybe. But I mean, really, I mean, for my money, you know what I mean? It's like I would consider that Stanley's first cameo. He's rocking the full beard. He looks really good. He in looks good in that movie. Yeah. 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 I mean, the uh, the uh, one of the two main leads, uh, again played by Jason Lee. This time he's Brody Bruce. Uh, is a huge comic nerd. I mean, it starts out yeah. him telling a story. They go to the flea market. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just fucking hilarious. I mean, even the opening credits, I think it has them drawn up as comic book people. It has, <laughs> and it's drawn by comic book artists because <laughs> Kevin wanted to get real comic book artists to do that. Um, but throughout it, it starts out with uh, I never forget because another twins, Jeremy. Jeremy, and, I and think it's Jeremy. Jeremy I think Lundin. Jason's the one from Dazed. Shit. I think this is Jeremy. Yeah, it's Jeremy London. Yeah. Jeremy London uh, is uh, got a girlfriend, Claire Forlani, um, and uh, her dad is uh, our guy, uh, Yandu, Michael Roker. Yeah, Michael Roker. Uh, I've got the pleasure to meet at Comic Con. I have to. Yeah, yeah and uh, they break up. They break up because he's going to take her to go and uh, propose to her at uh, <laughs> Universal Studios when Jaws pops out. Um, that's his plan, uh, which is such a fucking, <laughs> you know, one of us thing to do <laughs> yeah, it is. and uh <laughs> it gets messed up because her dad's a game show host and because well, he's like a producer though, right? yeah like a producer like a high yeah. profile yeah. producer like a yeah. high profile producer he's producing a, a game show that's going to be happening in their mall yeah and he has a guest lined up but the guest dies because of something that jeremy london character ts says to yes. her and uh it's just like a wonky situation and it ends up where his girlfriend is like i told my dad i'd do this show and he's like no you can't like i'm gonna propose like i got this whole thing planned and she doesn't know this because he's not telling her this because you know they're just supposed to go away for the weekend and it results in a big fight they split up and then kind of begins the path of you know he kind of wants to get her back um and at the same time his best friend brody bruce uh played by jason lee again uh, also breaks up with his girlfriend Renee, played by Shannon Doherty, because he's pretty much a guy living in his mom's in basement, his basement yeah. collecting comic <laughs> books, playing Sega, yeah. and uh, no ambition or whatever, you know. And so <laughs> she's like, "I want a guy that takes me out to the places I want to go, that listens to me, does the things I want." And the guy she thinks that can do that is none other than Mr. Ben Affleck, Shannon oh, Hamilton man. from Fashionable Male. What a real dick! And what a real dick he is. <laughs> He's known for liking to screw girls in some place uncomfortable, and we don't mean the back Ooh. of a Volkswagen. Ooh. So that'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, but one of the many, many jokes throughout the movie, but basically it's essentially about these two off-kilter guys yeah. trying to get back their girls. Yeah. Um, it, it really is uh, a different type of love story if you want to watch it on Valentine's Day with your significant other. Or again, I think it works also if you 
hate Valentine's Day and hate love. You can watch the movie and have a laugh and realize not realize you're watching something that's a love story <laughs> in a ways. But it ends, you know, with with uh, you know a, a happy ending and a reference to the Jedi mind trick uh, throughout. Oh, Some yeah. great Batman references yeah. uh, with Jay and Silent Bob providing endless humor uh there i think that's them at the top of their game yeah. you know really being in yeah. ball rats they kind of come into their own and uh, they've got a lot more uh screen time than they do in uh clerk so uh for me that's that's mall rats it's a comic book guys movie i i remember seeing it on the back and the ads all the time uh the back of our old 90s books oh, and it yeah. was literally that squiggly line yep. thing where you were trying yep. to squint your eyes and that comes directly into play in the movie too so it's uh fucking hilarious and i think you can watch it with uh you know you can watch it on valentine's yeah, day and it fits yeah. i think it's yeah. a fitting unconventional yeah. love story very good yeah um so going right off that into right into the next one which AA, really is considered like what maybe it's masterpiece maybe a lot of people always say i've always read that now for me it's not but okay uh, a lot of people just say this is like his deepest movie his most personal movie yeah. uh uh and again a lot of people say this is probably his best movie. And it has all those things that you're talking about right there. And that is the his third installment into making a movie, Chasing Amy, uh, starring Joey Lauren Adams uh, right there in the back. Um, she um, is who signed this one. I, I love got to Joey meet, Lauren Adams. I wish I could have met her. Yeah, I got to meet her yeah. uh, with my girlfriend at Alamo City Comic Con. My girlfriend had a great. Yeah. I kind of froze a little bit. I don't really, like I said, freeze, but I did. I was just... Uh, there and and uh, Jess told her she's like I, I love your voice so much and I mean uh, I just love her she yeah. has like a big nineties girl and, mm -hmm. and I love Joey Lauren Adams yeah I wish I could have met her and her and Kevin Smith dated for a little yeah, bit they too. Did. Yes, yeah they did but it was yeah. cool and Jess told her you know, like I love your voice so much she's like I could fall asleep to it or whatever <laughs> and she says my husband says the same thing <laughs> I thought that was so funny but she was so nice and very sweet and yeah. signed the DVD. Yeah. But that movie, guys, is a fucking trip, right? Yeah. I mean, Double A, give, me, give us a breakdown. What do you? How do you see it? I mean, it's what a comic book artist, right? Artist yeah. and writer that, again, the, going back. Uh, to no, the comic it's, book? it's a artist and inker. Inker. Yeah. Okay. 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 And uh, they live together, right? Um, you know, or I'm always no, confused about studio, that. Right? They don't. They share like a studio like, okay. together. Yeah, and then like he meets Amy, and she's like, what? Another one? Who's actually her name isn't Amy in the movie. Her name is um. Shit, I forget what her name is. But she's like, uh, is she like in that same realm too? Alyssa like a, of comics. Yes, she's right? she's a writer. Uh, I don't know if she's a writer artist, but she's definitely a writer. Yeah. So like Ben Affleck meets her. Alyssa they, Jones. They right. have like a really good time, and uh, he finds out she's lesbian. You know, and mm -hmm. and I mean, right there, that's already. <laughs> so he's been hanging out with her. He's been spending time with her, and he thinks that man, this is like the girl or whatever, and this his. Um, art partner, uh, it's kind of like, what the Inker. fuck? What's up with you? <laughs> yeah, what's up with you spending all this time with this chick? And like, you're not even going to get none because she's gay or whatever. And he's like, nah, man, it's just like, we're just friends. Like, it's cool or whatever. And then he's like, no, nah, you're not hanging out like just friends. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're developing feelings for her or whatever. And um, they're, they continue to hang out. And then eventually Ben Affleck has a moment, uh, Holden McNeil, and he just tells her, um uh, i love you you know what i mean and and you know maybe i shouldn't maybe whatever and he's like you know it's a really beautiful moment a really beautiful speech in the rain they're in the car but they're in the rain and she pretty much gets pissed off and loses it and walks out of the car and walks into the rain uh after she tells him you know he goes after her and she tells him you know like fuck you you know what i mean like fuck <laughs> you for putting this on me because you know yeah. we're supposed to be friends and yeah. this whole time like it's like you know I guess maybe she thought he had like ulterior motives, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he tells her, he's like, I'm telling you this without because expecting she knows, anything. Like, something like that could really ruin a friendship. That's happened to me a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, well, one time it happened to me. Uh, I made that mistake and uh, it went south real quick. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's brutal. tough. I've been there too. And you, and you never know. You never know. Yeah. And you think, you think that you have this connection and then you find out you don't. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's pretty heartbreaking, pretty nasty. And uh, yeah, you just kind of wish you could take that moment back. Right. And, you know? and then in this film, however, it takes a little bit of a different turn because things kind of go his way. Yeah, they and they do. start to date. Yeah. And it's like, you know, he's like, okay, I'm happy. Like, this is all good. 
And it takes one little thing for him to find out because I guess he thought that she was a lesbian her entire life and had never been with a man. Um, she didn't tell him otherwise. And uh, his going on believing that um, and then finding out otherwise to be true kind of sends him off the deep end and uh, kind of does the classic thing. It's kind of like if you start talking to your significant other and you start asking them questions you don't really want to know the answers to like yeah. how many people have you been uh, with what kind of things have well, it's you kind done? of like goes back to clerks you mm -hmm. know when you know i've only slept with the like so-and-so guys but i've sucked 36 dicks yeah you know? <laughs> and he's like 36 and then she's like, i was 37 you know and so yeah. like, you know you start thinking about which i mean hey that was somebody else's life you know that was that person's other life. You can't expect everyone to meet to be a damn virgin. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I've had my male friends tell me when I used to ask questions of, of people I was seeing at the time, they say, you know, my, one of my main best friends, you know what I mean? Keith would say, don't fucking ask that shit. He's yeah. like, why the fuck do you want to know? Why do you care? Yeah. What does it matter? It was the past. Do you yeah. have a past? She has a past. Like, it doesn't matter. And yeah. I mean, I really don't give a shit. Yeah. It's very, <laughs> it's, a, it's a horrible slope to go down. Don't go down it as if I was going to make a suggestion. Uh, but pretty much, uh, like I said, Ben Affleck's character Holden goes down. He's actually not an asshole in this movie. Uh, well, maybe a little bit, but not totally. <laughs> but um, yeah, he 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 doesn't even make the mistake of going down that path and asking her. What he does is he finds out some information, but he can't keep it to himself. He has to question her about it because she engaged in a sex act that was again unconventional, uh, maybe to most people. You know what I mean? And uh, it bothered him, and he you know, couldn't let it go. And that fucked everything up. And based on that, you know, he wanted to try to save the relationship with her by some other weird actions and thoughts uh, that, that didn't go down, but he was thinking would, would fix everything. And uh, they didn't. And there's a very, very, very strong bromance in that movie as yeah, well. The love story is. between Banky and Holden. Uh, again, they're inking partners. They share a studio. Mm -hmm. They work together all the time. They go out together, you know, um, it's threatened. He's threatened by uh Banky is threatened by Alyssa. He doesn't yeah, like her. Yeah. And I think he doesn't like her because I think he feels also very protective of Holden. And I think he also knows like this chick is a lesbian and whatever's going on right now is going to be fleeting and not last. And that's, uh, that's bad. You know what I mean? Since he knows that he wants to protect his friend or whatever, and in a way he's in a position where he can't really do that. So uh, it has a really different ending. It has really great, but don't they come back to them in another movie where it kind of tells them where they're at? Uh, I think it does. I think it does. I can't remember. But... In one of the other subsequent uh, Kevin Smith movies, like sh she's she's there, but she's with a woman. They saw her with a yeah, woman. Yeah, but don't they have like a kid? I don't, don't think so. Like, okay. No, okay. I don't think that. Not between okay. them two. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. But I don't See, think who, so. Who's the name of that that other uh, comic book dude that they're always hanging out with? That he's gay, but he always acts like he's a black militant. Uh, Hooper. I X. love that fucking character, especially when they're doing like that panel. Yes. You know, that he's is, acting like very all military. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like pretty much like a Malcolm X type <laughs> character, dressed in black Until and all you that. See it from like. From like when they're away from people, yeah, <laughs> he's totally like, a, like a, more like a Michael Jackson, like a Michael Jackson type. <laughs> Guys, the, the first maybe 25, 30 <laughs> minutes of this movie, Chasing Amy, are some of the most hilarious shit you will ever see. In fact, if it was just a straight comedy like that, I mean, excuse me, so 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 damn fucking funny. I laugh and like laugh to your side turn funny because this shit is and maybe it just applies to comic book guys. I don't know, but it but it's very fucking it funny, be. man. Very yeah. fucking funny. And then of course but again it's like I shit. said, you know, you you make that mistake when you think you have that connection to someone and you tell them you love them and then they're just like no. Yeah. A lot of people have been there, like I said, I've been there. Mm -hmm. It fucking hurts. I've been it there sucks. Too. Yeah, you know, and uh, I'm glad I'm not there anymore. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Happily married, man. Yeah, yeah but uh, no, I mean, I think again, I think it's a good movie for yeah. singles. I think yeah. it's a good movie for hating Valentine's Day and hating love. And it's also a good movie for loving love and 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 uh, just enjoying a, a, a unconventional love story. Love story. So I yeah. mean, that's what I think. Guys, uh, we've been seeing some comments come in. Uh, you're slowing down a little bit, but that's okay. We know it's getting late, um, but we're going to get to those probably. It's a in cold Friday night. You're probably snuggling with your significant other right now. Yeah, or <laughs> or your full-size uh, pillow that you're like, fuck a significant other. I'd rather cuddle with this thing. You know what I mean? And 
that's cool too. You know what I mean? So uh, hopefully you got something warm to drink and maybe make some caldo. Oh, get that going there and keep you warm. Oh. Um, but guys, yeah, we're nearing up on the next. Uh, should we just take it now? Sure. Yeah, we're, let's we're, go. We'll take. We'll yeah. do our little mini break now. Again, guys, just for the audio listeners. But if you're uh, want to see the whole story, what happens in the comments, please check us out on YouTube. We're trying to get to 100 followers so that we can change our URL and it can be something cool like youtube.com slash JAFN podcast or youtube.com slash just another Friday night. And we need your guys help to do that, um, to make that change by getting 100 followers on YouTube. Um, but yeah, if you're listening to us just on the audio version, uh, it's going to sound like a blip and then we'll be right back. Uh, finishing the conversation. Um, but for anyone joining us on the live right now with us, we're going to be right here reading your comments. So stay tuned, guys. Hey, guys, if you're hanging out with us on live, you know, I just hit that little button on our anchor app to let our last pretty much 30 minutes of conversation process. And that means time to read your comments. So oh, right there, start off with Roxanne. Right That's there, is that the first at. one? Yep. Okay, and Joe said, cheers to the faithful mm-hmm. Joe. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Can I get a little? Is there anything? Left? No, there's no more. That's it. Okay. That's it. All right. Yeah. See, that's how that happens sometimes, guys. When you're drinking too many beers, <laughs> you're left with none. So uh, go ahead, Double A. Okay, she said, Clerks is funny as hell, but it ain't no damn love story. All right. And then she goes, yes, Dante and Randall is a much better love story. I completely agree, Double A. All right. Bold words from a bold woman. <laughs> she says, Michael Rooker is just plain awesome. Totally. Yes, he is, Roxanne. And you get to see his ass if you want to see that in oh, all right. Yeah. Steve says sometimes you can ask too many questions. Yes, sir. That's very, very <laughs> true, Steve. Sometimes it's just things you just don't want or need to know. Roxanne says Hooper X. Uh, Black Rago, Black Rago. Oh, Black Rage. Black like Rage. It's, a, it's, oh, a, okay. it's an exclamation okay, mark. Black exclamation Rage, mark. Black Rage. That's Black right. Rage, That's Black right. Rage. That's what he's screaming, Hooper X, in, uh, in Chasing Amy. Yeah, guys, like I said, if you have any stories uh, Valentine's Day that you want to share, any movie recommendations that we should be watching on a cold Sunday Valentine's Day, let us know. Or how about a favorite uh, gift you've received or a favorite gift you've given on Valentine's Day? That's a or good one, too. Also, yeah. how about for – two fellows that are in a relationship uh what are some gift ideas right now you could say if you're shopping at this point you're a real piece of shit because it's kind of late in the game here but i'll take your suggestions anyway just because you know i mean hey you can always use it for next year right so uh let's see foxy roxy says what are y'all doing for valentine's day double a i'll let you take you are not too sure i know that Uh, me we are ordering olive garden and we are eating it here at home and probably be watching some movies Probably, because nice. I'll probably be off Monday. Most likely, I'll probably be off Monday. So, well, we were. I had made us reservations, but um, I let her know about the reservations, and she said, "No, nah, I don't want to do that. Cancel it. It's going to be cold, and we're going to have to park and walk." And uh, so, I canceled. It was going to be uh, dinner on Saturday, actually, because on Sunday we had planned to kind of do uh, what you're doing was a Valentine's Day with friends who were going to barbecue, but I don't think they realized the weather report was, was going to be super calling for though. super cold. So I think we must be, uh, we're going to be canceling uh, that as well. So we won't be at the barbecue and we won't be at the dinner. So our weekend will really just be open and probably just hanging out, maybe watching movies too and staying warm. So love source, love crom- uh, rom-coms, comic book movies. What, what's your, uh, What's your movie that for, you're going to be watching? Your main movie for Valentine's Oh, that's Day? a good question. I definitely maybe want to watch through something that we talked about tonight, but I'm not going to yeah. lie to you, man. The Less Than Zero really has Ooh, me intrigued. No, don't watch it on Valentine's Day. Okay, shit. All right. That is not a good okay, that, that's right, like a movie killer. Oh, that's wow. A, geez. I, I, like I said, I saw it and I was just like, Man, this is one fucked up movie, <laughs> and I am not going to watch it again. Okay, somebody, guys, give me a streamer for less than zero. Okay. Somebody Once out you there. see Robert Downey, you're going to be like, "Holy shit!" Okay, yeah. all right, all right. I gotta, watch. I gotta see this now. Nobody spoil it for me. Uh, look, who also joined us? David Lopez in the house. What up, Dave? Must be nice. What must be nice, Dave? Uh, maybe the Olive Garden that I'm all ordering, or Olive maybe Double A being off on Monday. We might be off because of inclement weather. Well, yeah, Me that's too. why. I don't, yeah. I might be off. I don't want yeah. to be off because I don't get paid if I'm. I'm off in the and... construction uh, business, so the, the shit might be shut down. <laughs> <laughs> no framers are going to be out there. Trust me, no framers is going to be fucking out there in 25 degree weather. No, so. nah, fuck that. Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, and Dave, I have your tea, man. Waiting to meet up. Um, I know it's been a, it's been a, a 
comedy of errors trying to meet up <laughs> with each other. I probably it would have been to you in the mail already by now if I'd have mailed it. But uh, you let me know what you want to do, man. Hit me up offline and we can talk about that. Uh, Steve says, uh, I can tell a good horror story for a Valentine's Day. Hey, right. Steve, tell it, man. We're, tell we're it. down to hear it here. Um, Yvette says her plans are to stay home, watch movies, and snuggle. What's your movie? What's your go to movie, Yvette? Yeah, what Let are you gonna know. be watching? And you have yeah. the kiddos with you too, so that's nice. What too, are you right? and Mark watching? My, my sis says her uh, Valentine's Day, uh, her Valentine this year is her son, so that's cool. My nephew that's, is my sister. I like that very much. David says Olive Garden. Yes, it is. Yeah, Olive Garden. Olive Garden. I'm going half though, Dave, uh, with my brother, so we're kind of doing like a double date, so we're paying for half. So, so they're gonna get the feast up in here. So though. it's not gonna be too bad on me. There you go. <laughs> on there my you paycheck. Go. And you're gonna get the breadsticks and the salad. And we you gotta, gotta get, get the breadsticks. You gotta get that. You gotta get that. Yeah. So let's see. Nene says, if you show your nipples, I'll share this live. If I show my nipples, this might get taken off of Facebook. So I don't know if I should do that. I mean, I have seen you, Nene, on your uh Facebook page, slapping mayonnaise and cheese oh, on your shit. on your naked body. So I don't know what Facebook's rules are, but you've yeah. got them beat, my friend. So we appreciate that, man. Though hopefully you'll share it anyway. Uh, we enjoy it. You've got us a great follower, Richard, in the house. So we appreciate that, Nene. Uh, guys, go check out Nene, at Funny Nene on TikTok. Uh, 500K followers, guys. Damn. Been shared and liked Damn. by George Lopez. Been shared He's and liked. He's slapping a lot of ass. He's slapping a lot of ass there. Yeah, been yeah. shared and liked by Selena's ex, Chris Pettis. Damn. Talk about a tragic fucking love story there yeah. jeez louise we bring the mood down there with that yeah. nanny uh david says uh doing good just got done with band practice happy to catch the show yeah man great hey, that's great i've seen some of y'all's band practice you guys fucking rock hell yeah uh, all sides equal so, yeah man I, I love watching you guys i think it's on instagram okay uh, that yeah. i see you guys practice so the little bit of footage i've seen it's it's fucking awesome dave feel free to plug yourself in the band man throw it down there in the comments yeah, uh, we, yeah we, we, we uh definitely yeah. want to make sure to get to check you guys out yeah uh i know bonds rock bar downtown is doing some stuff oh uh, okay our Juan, good friend Juan's there yeah. Juan bond yeah okay. he's been having okay. some uh, events and stuff like that i think he's gonna do a fat tuesday or if that passed already okay. we missed that already okay. but you know bonds is open guys are doing some stuff so nice. if you get a chance to go out there and support it'd be great uh let's see uh yvette says uh probably going to be watching either star wars or the lake house oh, the lake house yeah, is the that the house? keanu reeves one with sandra bullock where they're kind of messaging each other through like, one is a ghost time or something i might have fucked the movie up for everybody yeah you fucked that for me. Shit, uh so. if you did star wars event what star wars movie would it be uh i would say episode two attack of the clones Why? big time love story oh, okay okay amidala and okay. uh anakin well, i guess it won't be revenge right <laughs> Oof, how about right. the romance in there though yeah. what a yeah. vile vile ending there yeah. to that um let's see steve says how about uh mk's for a couple Perfect. so i can meet adam at one tomorrow oh mk davis at one some schooners holy crap let me get with them offline yeah. and see if we can set that up steve that That's would right. be a really awesome moment uh and yvette says yes yes to attack of the clones or okay. oh the lake house being the one with keanu reeves ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry that I ruined it about the ghost shit. <laughs> I don't know. I only saw. I think you know what? That's not a Keanu Reeves uh, movie. People are not gonna go watch. <laughs> I know. I think I saw it in parts here or whatever. Yeah, you know, um, I never hear that. I hear Speed, Matrix, John Wick, John Wick, Point Break. I never hear Lake House. <laughs> you know, he, he plays. He he's also in. He's in a rom com, A Walk in the Clouds, as well. And he, play, right. he plays a marine. Yeah, yeah. A marine in that That's one. Right. I've That's seen right. it in parts. I started watching it, and I was like. Which Bill and Ted is this? And I was like, this isn't Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted? I was like, this is what happened to Bill. Bill joined the Marines. And I was like, this Bill and Ted sucks. So yeah, that's what happened to me. Uh, Roxy says, Han and Leia better love that story. That is a really good unconventional love uh, love movie. Yeah, a but smuggler we, with the princess. We see how easily that you're turned, Roxanne. So Chewie and Han better love story. That's a romance. Man. That's a romance right there. Uh, guys, we want to get back into the last leg of our recording phase. We invite you to still join us, but probably within this last block, get to where we yeah, read guys, the comments again, live. Come out with your comments, uh, re you know, recommendations, either horror, rom com, action, yeah. whatever you think. And we're not going to wait till another break for these because I think that we're getting towards the end here and we'll get to those within this part here. Yeah. So let us get it going. 
Thanks for sticking with us, Friday Nighters. If you're listening on the audio version, we just took a little uh, tiny uh, break there to read the comments from our Facebook Live. Remember that if you're listening to us on audio and you want to ever join the conversation, we go live every Friday night on Facebook and you can comment in and uh, let us know what you think and what we're talking about and join the conversation. We've had some great stuff tonight. And if you're listening on the audio and you're like, damn, I missed all that. I want to hear that. Go to our YouTube channel like our page or, or subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We need to get to 100 subscribers. I've been saying it all night. We're only at 30. We need to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube so we can change our URL. But there you can see everything that we talk about during the comments, all the funny stories from all our fabulous Friday nighters. Uh, you guys, the Friday Night Faithful, make the show worth doing and make the group Facebook group great and the page great. And this is what we do it for. We're here for you guys. Uh, we like hanging with you guys and chilling with you. And uh, we've run out of alcohol, sadly. Next time I'm bringing a bottle and then, uh, you know, won't have that issue again. <laughs> <laughs> but Double A provided all the beer tonight, so thank you, Double A. And um, I don't know, Double A, any, any other unconventional love stories you want to get to before we get into the last of these comments? Yeah, about uh, Adam's family. I mean, man, Morticia okay. and Gomez. Yeah. Man, what a strong, strong relationship they have. Definitely. And very unusual very kooky very spooky you know <laughs> yeah, very much so yeah, very I much mean, so a great love story I, there's no more two people in probably movie that has as much love as those two yeah you know i, I mean, love gomez's affection and yeah. his uh, infatuation with morticia he's, bad, real he's, bad, he's yeah. still got it bad for yeah. her, which is very cool yeah that's a great pull i never i would not think about yeah, that, but I mean, that he loves it. her so much <laughs> yeah. okay, they gotta one day give us the backstory of how they met before yeah. the kids right yeah. unless that's been done somebody might know if yeah. that has been done already yeah. um but uh that made me think about another great lover who who maybe had a, it was kind of sad because he didn't really ever get a lot of love back, but Pepe Le Pew. Oh, jeez. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the man was a skunk, and he would see a cat that got painted accidentally Do with you stripes. Remember that one though, where you find out he's married. Do you remember that one? No, I don't remember yes, that. There's one where he's chasing oh, after one, Pepe Le Pew, and his come wife on, comes man. out and catches it. <laughs> And he doesn't have his French accent anymore. He's like totally American. Oh like, my god! I gotta look that up. Yeah, man. I gotta I look that like, up. What? He's married. He's been cheating. He's been trying to cheat on her the whole time. And acting like a Frenchman. Wow! Yeah. Breaking news here, guys. On the Just Another Friday <laughs> I can't podcast. Believe you've never seen that. Pepe Le <laughs> married. Real name is probably like. Pepe Smith or something like that. Yeah, maybe and, not even that. Maybe you know, just John. Well, yeah, maybe just, yeah, just John, John the John skunk. skunk. I mean, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm truly, truly, you just diminished my whole childhood right now. The way. Uh, but but yeah. it was there. It was there in your childhood. I, I guess so. I, I missed that episode, the one I didn't see. It was like if you the episodes when you saw Tom talk on Tom and Jerry, you were like, holy shit, Tom's talking in this one. Yeah, he talked. So very interesting on that, Pepe Le Pew. Uh, should we get to some comments here, or do you got some more? Talk to uh, a few more. Yeah, Lost Boys. What about Lost Boys? Starring and Michael. Okay, okay, you know? that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty yeah. good one. I and like she's that. She's with David, but then she falls in love with Michael. Yeah, he becomes a vampire, and she's a vampire. And Great point. Great yeah. point. There's been a lot of vampire. You know, I would say that love is a very strong concept in yeah. throughout vampire yeah. lore. There's always yeah. kind of that. True or Blood she, she, hinges yeah. a lot on or love shit. stories. How about the Mummy? Yeah. You know, that was another one of those ancient Coming kind back, of, you, you know, know and trying sure. to resurrect his loved one. Nothing, you know? nothing kept them apart. No. Nothing kept them apart. No. The last one, I, I mean, I had here, we didn't talk, we kind of talked, we talked quite a bit about clerks, but clerks too, you know, is which where you see, uh, you know, our, our clerks from clerks one, um, uh, now working at a fast food restaurant, movies, <laughs> and you've got Rosario Dawson in there, obviously, Jay and Silent Bob, and uh, um, some great cameos, whatever, but um. Uh, you know, Dante, who's still trying to find himself working at fast food, uh, you know, uh, finds out he's going to be a dad. So that's kind of, a, you know, off of a hookup with a, a great looking gal that was his boss. So, you know what I mean? That's yeah. pretty unconventional as well. They almost burned down the damn restaurant. There's a donkey show. So, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what what could be more unconventional in a love movie? Watch that on Valentine's Day with your significant other and see a donkey show. I mean, shit, it's crazy. Um, but we've also got hanging up back here, you know, Peter Parker and Mary Jane. I mean, you know, maybe the unconvention of it is that uh, we froze a little bit there. The unconvention of it may be that, you know, he's got the proportionate strength of a spider. But 
you know what I mean? He, uh, you know, can't really uh, have love always because of his crime fighting life. Well, see, that's the movies though. In the comics, it's pretty much more straightforward. Yeah. He uh, does get married. They are in a relationship. Well, even like before that, they are in a relationship. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's like the movies that like for some reason keep them apart. But also, also in the comics though too, he also dated more women because he dated yeah, he Gwen, did. he dated Brandy, Gwen, Felicia, Felicia, Mary Jane. Yeah, so Pete was kind of a ladies' yeah, man. When she to, started poking up, yeah. Well, yeah. proportionate strength of a spider doesn't yeah. doesn't hurt, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but um, is that pretty much it? That might be it, guys. Well, we're uh, gonna well, well, real quick. Get to ask you, mm -hmm. what's your go-to movie again? Shit, that's a good. You know what? I'm gonna go True Romance. True Romance. Yeah, okay. I like it. I okay. like that. I, it's it's uh it's one I think of. It's one that it was the first one that popped in my mind when we said we were gonna do uh kind of like a Valentine's Day themed episode, and so I was like, yeah, that would be probably what I would watch. Probably have to convince my girlfriend to watch it. Right. You know, she's not. She knows what I'm up to now after eight years, so she's like. No, that's not a love movie. And I'm like, no, but it is because of this. She's not taking the Rocky bait no more. You know what I mean? Double A, I can't, Damn. I can't pull your move unless yeah. you guys give me a new movie like this. Yeah. Then I can sneak it in, maybe. You know what I mean? And I'll yeah. be like, no, no, it's about this. You know what I mean? So uh, that's got to be part what of it. Right? I would not recommend for you to see on Valentine's Day is the Death Witch franchise. <laughs> <laughs> no, de no, Charles Bronson on Valentine's Day. No. Yeah. Uh, what's your go-to, Double A? Uh, yeah. You know what? I really don't have a go-to, but uh, feeling this year, and they've been showing it. Almost, almost not. I mean, kind of different, you know? Yeah, yeah kind of different. Uh, you know, they, they hate each other, and yeah. they start off as friends, and then finally end up with being each other. So, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, agree. So. Agree. Uh, I, I I love that movie. Uh, I, I, I watch it whenever I can, and I don't own it. And I should. I would. But I feel like I feel like that's a more straightforward. But I love it. It's so great. And then movie. maybe like something different. Um, watch Sea of Love. Oh, uh, Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Okay. John Goodman. Okay. That's a really good movie. Uh, trying to chase after a serial killer. They call it the Lonely Hearts Killer. Interesting. You know, All he right. goes after when he when he used to put ads in the paper. You know, I'm looking for this kind of person to fall in love with. You know, before Facebook, before Twitter. You know, I got gotcha. you. He wrote your ads. You know, so Very that's a really good. That's a really good one. Yeah. I want to check that out. I want to check that out. I mean, guys, I think that might be. Uh, besides yeah, getting to your it. comments here, let's get to some of these comments uh, here before we get to the end. Um, of the show as we like to do we like to end it out there with your comments so let's see what we got here uh let's see uh nene says uh i shared now show me something i'll show you the guns you want to see there you go nene there you go. that's it they're not as big as yours we know you're on only fans if you guys want to see nene i guess holy shit you're nene. on only fans <laughs> hey nene's going holy all up for it man <laughs> it's like, hey nene free plug for your only fan i know you're talking shit saying that i would never plug you wow and you leave my live and you don't hear my plugs holy shit so you guys want to if you're a lady and you're single and you want to go see nene on only fans go 9.99 a month i think holy started. shit 9.99 so it's making okay. big bank over there man i don't all know right. okay let's see uh rich says uh, what's up okay. guys? I had to jump off, take care of something. Hey, by all means, man, you're yeah. back now. You get to yeah. enjoy it. And anything that you may have missed will be available on YouTube or yeah. Spotify or anywhere that podcasts are available. David says a V day movie date will be John wick. One, two, three and Lego Batman. Damn, that's, <laughs> a, Lego Batman. that's a hell of a setup nice. right there. I like that. <laughs> you're going to get away with that. You get the, you got the kid, the kiddo there, right? The baby. So I mean, but Hey, if you can get those three in on Valentine's day, that's a win right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nene says, Lick his thumb. Okay. Uh, that feels very Max Katie. Very uh, okay. uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Cape Fear on there. You know, maybe another. Oh, that's another, right. That's right. I another unconventional love story oh, right oh, there. Story. No, don't watch that oh, on Valentine's no. Day. Uh, and then he says, "I think we should have a threesome one day. Me, you, and him." Yeah, we what can always do think? a TikTok a threesome. There yeah. you go. There yeah. you go. We need to get them followers up, man. We're trying to get to a hundred YouTube subscribers, Danny. Can you help us out? Can you subscribe to our YouTube? Okay, and then he says, have we ever farted and burped at the same time? Uh, Never been so lucky. I don't think so. If I do, I will play the lotto that day because that feels like. And I'm not trying to just say no. I, I don't. Right. I don't Sometimes it's just. You cough just and farting. Hard sure. to tell. Oh, for sure. For sure. That's definitely one. Uh, 
Rich says skunks need love too. Agree. See, he Pepe tried. Few. He tried. I mean, I didn't know. I had no idea that he was this womanizing liar, Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> but um, let's see. Nene says, I got your Pepe Le Pew you. uh, right here. Video. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Roxy says, what? That kooky skunk? And then Steve says, good night, guys. Good night, Steve. Good night, Steve. We will catch you possibly tomorrow. I'll hit you up on text. And Nene gets angry and says, we never reply back to him. Right. He says, Fuck us guys. I'm unfollowing. They ain't even dangerous. Damn. You're never here long enough to hear me shout you out. You just leave. <sighs> and then you didn't answer me on your live the other day. So slap some mayo on yourself, Nene, for Valentine's Day and get another 500,000 followers to get to that big million. And when you do, you take us with you in your opening act, whatever the hell it is you do on TikTok. Uh, for granted, I forgot to do our TikTok today, so I'll do one afterwards Shit. again. And I'll get a good, <laughs> good view of the wall here and the books. So let's see. And Foxy Roxy says, and don't watch Closer on Valentine's Ooh, Day. Closer. Uh, though I personally love that movie. I do like that movie too. I, you know, I, I like do Closer. like that movie, but it is definitely not one I would watch uh, on Valentine's Day. What yeah. about Eyes Wide Shut? Darling? Ooh. Uh, not a good Valentine's Day movie, guys. Very well, depressing. Well, it has a good Andy. That's a happy Andy. I, I mean, it has a, a good happy statement at the end. You okay. know what I mean? So okay. I like that. There's some tits in it. It's quite a bit of tits. In that <laughs> I mean, that's definitely happening in that. But um, yeah, for sure, guys. I mean, we've gotten to the end of your comments. Does anybody have any last or final thoughts on unconventional love stories that you can read, watch? Guys, uh, I'd like to personally wish all of you a happy Valentine's Day. That's uh, right. Couples, singles, uh, you know, have a good weekend. Be safe. It's going to be super cold. Uh, don't go out there if you don't have to. So stay warm, stay dry. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be ugly. So you know, I mean, don't stay dry on Valentine's Day if you've got someone, oh, and even if you say, don't, don't stay dry because treat yourself. You, Self love is the first love. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I'm sure Nene will enjoy that. She's always trying to have a Valentine's Day connection with us. But uh, Foxy Roxy <laughs> says, uh, "Happy Valentine's Day." Just another Friday night, yeah, and she says. Before? Perfect hits in that movie. She says, uh, Are you talking about Nicole? Or are you oh, just yeah. All, everyone. Yeah. Are you talking about everyone? Definitely the one that saved him. That <laughs> I vouch for him. Are you talking that. about all of them, Roxy? Yeah, we need to know which one's on that one. Fox Roxy on uh, Eyes Wide Shut. Great ass movie. Uh, Rich says, Happy Valentine's Day, and y'all be safe out there. Rich, happy Valentine's Day yeah. to you, man. Glad. Yeah. Thank you for joining us the second uh, week in a row, man. We'll be back next week. Do it all over again. Hey, Rich, have you checked out any of the older episodes? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on some of our other topics like The Mandalorian, uh, The Walking Dead. Um, Shit, what else did we do back then? Movies, we talked about, we talked movie about episodes, uh, wrestling yeah, episodes, movies from the 1970s, um, movies from 1999, some comic book uh, breakdowns. They're they're all there. They're all there, man. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are on that. You got some great great content that uh, you bring in. Rob's had a great agreed with you. Uh, yeah, the one that saved him. She says in Eyes Wide Shut. If you guys watch Eyes Wide Shut, uh, very very trippy, um, unconventional love story for sure. <laughs> Uh, guys, um, there's something that we always like to say here at Just Another Friday Night. Um, if there's something that you want to do with your life, a uh, hope, a dream, maybe there is someone out there that you've been wanting to pursue that you say, fuck it. You know what I mean? I want to throw caution to the wind and I want to say, hey, I love you or I've got a crush on you or whatever it is. Um, you know, do it. Yeah, Seize the day. It. Yeah. You know what I mean? You'll never know if you don't try. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just wasting yeah. time, guys. Time is short. Time is precious. We're we're two older guys. Uh, you know what I mean? I did it one time, and yeah, she didn't feel the same. But uh, hey, at least I tried. Yep. Yeah. You live, and you love, yeah. and you learn. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, like I said, we were both made in the 80s, and we can tell you from that much experience that you got to go for it. You got to shoot that shot sometimes. So as we say here on Just Nice Friday Night, seize the day. Now, sometimes... Might take a little bit more than uh, just seizing the day and saying that. You might have to maybe do something a little special. Go out and buy a little stuffed bear, some chocolate, something like that. So do whatever it takes, guys. If you know that their favorite album is, you know, the Beatles' White Album, you know what I mean? Maybe you find a copy online or something like that and surprise them. And that little thing will put you over the top. You know what I mean? I'm not saying spend money, but you can be like, uh, you know, uh, Harold Crick and uh, – Stranger, strangers.
the fiction when he buys the baker some flowers that are little bags of flowers. <laughs> I thought that was pretty adorable. <laughs> uh, and our last comment. So, so yeah. So guys, seize the day, do whatever it takes, especially on Valentine's Day, especially in matters of the heart, especially when it comes to love. Guys, uh, hold your loved ones tight. Okay. For sure. And stay warm. And then he says on his way out, uh, I want to do you and him perfect valentine's day line love the love continues to be spread nene the love continues to be spread uh you know what nene you get us 500k followers and you can have whatever you want <laughs> go on stage and shake your wee wee there you go man shake that wee wee man and yvette <laughs> says small gestures they go do. a long way just like the crow says uh it's a little things nothing Look, is trivial. nothing is trivial, nothing yeah. is trivial. very yeah. nice roxanne uh roxanne yvette, yvette. sorry i was reading yvette. roxanne's name and looking at your comment yvette. but uh yes so happy valentine's day to all of you from myself cm chuck and double a and this has been just another friday night good night